What's going on, Boston Celtics fans? Welcome to Celtics Today by Chat Sports. I am your host, Sally Barefoot. We are back with another Eastern Conference matchup, this time with the Charlotte Hornets. While the Celtics have already clinched the Eastern Conference, they still, of course, are competing for a home playoff right. So as of right now, there is no Jalen Brown tonight. Reports did come out that he actually has sprained his left wrist just a little bit, so he's not going to be playing tonight. Joe Mazzula said he is okay. This is just precautionary. However, Jalen Brown did make a report that he's going to be reevaluated when the team gets back to Boston. They have been gone for a week, week and a half now. They were in Atlanta for an entire week as they had back-to-backs Monday and Thursday in Atlanta. We all know what happened there. And now they're on the road. They're in Charlotte here tonight. So hopefully when the Celtics get back to Boston, we'll have more to talk about with Jalen Brown's injury update. We're also going to put out a video tomorrow on everything that we know. So go on ahead and hit that sub button for me. But until then, Let's talk about what's going on tonight. Going ahead and shout out your city to get this party started in here. We currently have 23 minutes until tip off, and I get it. There are a lot of games going on here today with the NCAA Women's Tournament, Iowa versus LSU, UConn versus USC. So today, I just want you guys to go on ahead and join us here for Celtics versus Hornets. So go on ahead and shout out your city right now. I got a lot of the real ones already in the chat with 35 people in here. I got time in the Buckeye. Dan, the man, Boston, Bob. I got Daryl as well saying his grant playing. Dude went from contender to trash. Got big-headed after winning us game seven versus the Bucks. Grant Williams is playing tonight at the center position against Al Horford, who will be starting for Jalen Brown here tonight. Al Horford, Chris Dasporzingis, Jalen, Jason Tatum, Derek White, and Drew Holiday are going to be your starting five as I've got Dan, the man, in here watching from Virginia, time in the Buckeye watching from Ohio. Mouad's in the chat as well. I got Al on the prowl back. Boston Bob's watching from Boston. Richard Lee watching from L.A. L.A. like California or like you're normally in Dallas. Where you at, my man? Dan the Man is actually watching from D.C. And we got Alex Diardo and Mateo back in the chat saying, good to see you again. Go Celtics, go. Let's finish the road on a great note. Love your show as usual. Go Celtics. Go. Thank you so much for being here, Alex and Mateo, as always. I feel like the Celtics have not played at home in three years. This road trip has been so long. It didn't help. The Celtics lost back-to-back, -back, which is probably why it was so long. But nonetheless, it is going to be uh, very nice to have the Celtics back in action here whenever they decide to get back there after they've won against the Charlotte Hornets here tonight. So going ahead and spam your C's in the comments section below. And Smitty, do you mind doing me a favor? Do you mind raising the camera up just a little bit as I see the TV is like kind of contradicting here behind the tip? Just me, just a little OCD, who is she? Uh, Rashard Lee, Ali, who you got? Iowa or LSU? I got Iowa. I think Iowa finally takes the reins this time. Last year was such a great matchup that I think Caitlin Clark is back and better than ever. Doing what she does. I want to take Iowa. I want them to win it all. I think that would be great to bring a championship to that university. Whereas LSU, UCLA, USC, UConn, of course, they have so many other programs that tend to bring national championships in so many sports that I think Iowa would be really cool if Caitlin Clark kind of single-handedly did that. Because LSU has so many resources, so many players in that team. You know, you got Angel Reese, you got Flage Johnson. So I do think that when you've got, like, primarily Caitlin Clark, that speaks more volumes to her and that university than to have, like, a powerhouse, you know, Haley Van Lift join LSU in the offseason, that kind of thing. So I'm going to go Iowa. But I'll ask you guys that question in just a few moments. But first, I got to ask you one more favor here. Go on ahead and like this video for me if you want the Boston Celtics to beat the Charlotte Hornets tonight. Of course, the mellow ball out for the season. So he won't be playing Grayson Hayward. He actually was traded to the Thunder by the trade deadline. So this is the first time we're playing the Charlotte Hornets that won't be the same as we've seen them this entire year. Of course, they do still have Miles Bridges. They've got Grant Williams, the former Boston Celtics. So it will definitely be interesting to see what happens here tonight. I can't rule out anybody because Celtics lost two in a row to the, Horn to the Hawks. So you got to take the Hornets seriously as much as uh, they do suck this year. But nonetheless, it's going to be an interesting game. Dan the man saying, Ali, who you got in the men's tournament? I got UConn in the men's tournament. Schmitty picked Houston, and they got kicked out over the weekend. So I've got UConn, and I have Purdue in my final game, in one of my brackets. The other bracket, I did have UConn and Houston, but I got, uh, I got the Huskies winning it all for the men's. 
You guys know our drill. If we don't get 50 likes before the stream, uh, before the game starts, well, then we are going to end the stream and head on out of here because the bosses say, obviously, if we don't get 50 likes before the game starts, then, you know, what's the point of hanging out here? So go ahead and hit that like button if you guys want to stick around, have a good time with us. You guys can even mute the women's game, listen to us as well. You can get both coverage, vice versa. But I want to make sure you guys are in, true, in tune with the Boston Celtics as well as the NCAA Women's Tournament. But before we get into that, I do want to tell you guys about Prize Fix, our sponsor here on Celtics today. If you guys aren't playing Prize Fix right now, I highly suggest going to prizefix.com slash CLNS and making your picks right now for the Boston Celtics game. There are numerous categories you guys can actually go on ahead and pick. You can do NBA, college basketball, NHL, MLB as well. Because the beauty of it is that March may be over, but the biggest moments in college basketball tip off the month of April. Be a part of the action on prize picks for both men and women's college basketball. You can now win up to 100 times your money on prize picks with as little as four correct picks. You can turn $10 into 1000 with basketball, hockey, and college basketball entries today on Prize Picks, America's number one daily fantasy sports app. You know I had to give love to my girls, Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark, on my Prize Picks today, and you cannot tell me this is not a lock. Four than 12 and a half rebounds for Angel Reese, who is a beast in the paint. Caitlin Clark to have more than nine and a half assists, not to discredit her at all. But I saw the 32 and a half, and I could not decide if it was going to be more or less. So she's been averaging about 15 assists in this tournament. So might as well take the more than nine and a half assists. And then Drew Holiday to have more than nine and a half rebounds and assists. Absolutely. These are my prize picks for the Boston Celtics game and the NCAA Women's Tournament. Prize picks is not biased at all. You can combine your picks between numerous sporting events. So all you guys have to do is go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use that promo code CLNS for a first-time deposit match up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It is that easy. Going ahead and drop your score predictions for the game down below. Celtics versus the Hornets. No JB tonight. Porzingis was on the injury report, but now he is good to go. So I am going to go with... Give me 108 to 87 is going to be my final score with the Charlotte Hornets. I got Dan the Man saying 125 to 104. God, I got sunburn on my head this weekend, and I feel it right now, and it's killing me. Tim S, 105 to 56. Holy low scoring ball game, Tim S. Daryl, 117 to 93. Boss and Bob, 131 to 120. Muad, 117 to 98. So we're seeing a lot bigger leads here because when we were asking this on Saturday against the Pelicans, a lot of us were kind of scared that they weren't going to beat the Pelicans. They ended up beating them by 20, but all of our predictions were like 115 to 113, 110 to 109. Like, we had such little deficit there that we were like, I don't know if they're going to win anymore. So it was nice to have this back in action. I'm going 108 to 87. That's going to be my final score there. But uh, I also got to bring in the man of the hour and ask him what he's thinking of this ball game. My man, Schmitty. What is going on, Seas fans? How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, I am going to go with, uh, give me 119 to 99. 119 to 99. Okay. I like yeah. it. I can do it. Yeah, 119 to 99. I'm here for it. All right. Not bad at all. Well, go on ahead and comment y'all's down below as we are about 15 minutes away from getting this party started while well, Ninja Gaming is starting us off here. The nice little $2 super chat saying, yo, I got Tatum over 50. And I got 140 to 94. So you're bringing it all the way back to like the Pacers game, the, like the first 10 games of the season when the Celtics had like a 56 point win. You want something like the Warriors game a couple weeks ago when we absolutely dominated them in TD Garden. I love to see that. All right, 50 points on Tatum. That was my question here tonight for you guys on the poll. Will Tatum have more or less than 27 and a half points? That is what Prize Picks has him at right now in his projected stat line. 75% of you said more. 25% of you said less. I thought it was pretty fitting knowing that Jalen Brown is not playing here tonight. So it does look like out of 53 of you guys, most of you guys do see Brown, excuse me, Tatum having more than 27 and a half tonight. But to have over 50, pop off, King. Pop off. I got the J and P twins saying, hey, Ali, remember me on Jace's channel. Oh, okay. Nice to have you back in here, Jace. 
as your new name is uh, the J&T Twins. Quark was saying, hey, Allie, hey, Schmitty, let's go Celtics. We got this for real, for real. Yes, sir, Quark Run. Coming in hot, $20 Super Chat coming Boston in from Boston. Boston. Bob. Beautiful. Hey, Marsh. Marshall, will you grab me my Sharpie on my, my desk? The thick one, please. All right, you guys know what that means. $20, the sh thick Sharpie, not like the Sharpie pen. That's we <laughs> Sharpie, please. All right, you guys know the drill here. Every time you give $20, Boston Bob has been on the green team. Shout out to Marcy. Peace. Shout out to Marcy, thanks. All right, so since Boston Bob's already on the green team, that means we're giving away a free green team entry here at $20. Starting us off, all you guys have to do to have a free green team entry on this beard is to go on ahead and spam my man Bob down in the chat. The real one here on Celtics today. I got 80 people in here. I know somebody is not on this green team right now that is in this chat. If you have never commented before, go ahead and spam your Bobs, and let's go on ahead and get somebody new here on this board while Ninja Gaming. Coming back in with a $2 super chat here saying, man, I miss Grant. Hope Tatum blocks his shot. <laughs> Grant was talking some serious cash last time they played. Grant, well, he was on the Mavericks last time. Grant runs his mouth like none other. And since he's been traded from the Boston Celtics, I really see it a lot more. Hence, I do think that's a huge reason why he got traded from the Mavs to the Hornets. He wasn't producing nearly as much as he was in Boston. But now that he's been running his mouth, I just don't think a lot of people wanted to put up with it. So it's going to be interesting to see Grant tonight. You know, it's always love, but sometimes they do really be getting into it. So go on ahead and keep spamming Bob. You can give Ninja some love as well as uh, we're trying to get a new green team entry on here. If not, I'm just going to give it to, uh, you know, going to give it to Jack Lottere and just say, you know, here we go. All right. So we do have a new raffle coming in here for the month of April. Happy Fool's Day? April Fool's Day. Happy April Fool's Day. I think you say happy before that, right? All right, let's do a Cleveland Steamer. I think it's more of just like an April Fool's. Yeah, it's not like a happy April Fool's Day. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. All right, Cleveland Steamer, I got you on the green team here, my man. So just like we did last month, the month before that, we are having a April raffle. However, this is the time to put your $10 in because we are drawing on April 14th, the very last regular season game for well, the Boston last Celtics. Second raffle for you guys. A last-second raffle because we got a lot in plan for the playoffs if the Boston Celtics do make it far like we think they will. So $10, you guys know the drill. It equals a raffle ticket. We will draw the winner on April 14th. You are going to win a signed team picture. I thought I changed that graphic, but I guess I didn't. So, oh, I did on the Super Chat menu. So if you guys want to see what that team picture is going to look like, I actually have that in the pictures right now for you guys to see what you will be winning. So this is the Sign team picture that you guys will win. This is about the same size as the last picture, but a 16 by 18. This has all of the signatures uh, for the Boston Celtics 2023-24 team. I mean, it's still got Delano Banton and Lamar Stevens on that ish. So if the Celtics do end up winning Banner 18, wouldn't it be nice to have a signed picture from all of the players? You got Pingus up here in the corner. You got Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Derek White, Drew Holiday, Joe Mazzula. You've got them all on this beautiful picture, and I'm going to tell you, this joint is expensive. The fact that you can win this for $10 is the number one reason why you should be inserting your name right now into this raffle. So $10 equals a, equals a raffle ticket. We will draw on the 14th. We'll do another leprechaun race and see who wins to win a signed team picture. Go on ahead and get that started right now. McGee's did just win our raffle on Saturday. If McGee's is not in the chat by halftime, we are going to run that race back. Because we told you guys, McGee's had a couple of entries in there. We wanted to make it fair. If you guys had a couple of entries and you didn't make last stream, I'd want you guys to be able to have a chance to win that signed Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown picture. So McGee's, if you are in the chat, let me know. If any of you guys see McGee's in the chat, let me know because he is the winner of Saturday's drawing. If he's not here, we're going to redraw by halftime. All right, so we also have a couple more things on our Super Chat menu today, but I wanted to go on ahead and tell you guys what Allie's deal of the day is. A $50 Super Chat coming in means I'm going to put on the Duncan jersey. I'm going to put on the Boston Celtics jersey here. I really feel like I haven't been wearing it that much, but I'm not sure you guys want to see it. So if you do want to see it, you'll let me know. 
a $50 super chat or super chats equaling up to 50. I could also do that. Means I'm going to put on the Celtics jersey and wear her for the rest of the game. Of course, this is Duncan's jersey as he was the super chat MVP for one of our streams. So we end up getting a jersey designated to him. And of course, UConn girls are playing tonight. I know that's his team as well. So a $50 super chat will put the Celtics jersey on. I'm not taking it off for the rest of the stream. So let's go ahead and bring up that original super chat menu as we are less than 10 minutes away from the tip off here as we have a very early game here for the Celtics, 7 p.m. Eastern time, 6 p.m. Central time. So you guys know the drill. Any Super Chat equals a shout out like we just saw with Boston Bob, like we just saw in Ninja Gaming. $5, the Celtics beer cheers. $10 is a raffle ticket entry. $20 is a green team entry. I just added Cleveland up here courtesy of Boston Bob. We want to get this bad boy filled out by the end of the playoffs. So it's going to determine on you guys. And it's going to determine on how far the Boston Celtics go in the playoffs for us to be able to fill this bad boy up and send it out. This is TD Garden. This is all the green team members. And that is a hand-painted logo there right in the center. $50, I put on the Celtics jersey. I wear it the rest of the stream. I feel like I haven't been wearing it that much. So I want you guys to be able to tell me if you want me to wear it or not. And we're going to do a beer bong and a shotgun race. Ninja Gaming coming in with another $2 saying, Go UConn! Not bad at all. Shout out to Ninja Gaming. Smith Dog, I actually did make two little weigh-ins there for the NCAA Women's Tournament here today, which we can always pull up because I want to see what the people are rocking with in here. 92 people are watching. 52 likes first and foremost. Shout out to you guys. We do not have to cancel the stream. We can keep going now because we have 50 before the start oh, of the that. game. Oh, but you guys can go on ahead and uh, keep liking that video because we're trying to get to 100, of course. Who you guys got in the first game? I got I for Iowa. L for LSU. Let me know who you guys are rooting for down below. You got Caitlin Clark. You got Angel Reese, two of the most influential women I have ever seen in the NCAA Women's Tournament. So I think it's going to be a good time. I got Boston Bob rooting for Caitlin Clark in Iowa. I got Ninja Gaming going for Iowa as well. Shamari Savage with the LSU. Corqua with the Iowa as well. So I'm seeing a good little mix here. I know there's a lot going on with uh, – a lot of games here with the NCAA Women's Tournament. This is one of the biggest matchups I think there is in any of the men or women's games. This is the game I'm definitely most excited for here tonight, a matchup. I got Sour back in the chat. I got Ninja Gaming rooting for Caitlin Clark. Rashard Lee is looking for at Iowa. Dan the Man wants to know who my favorite Celtic is. It's Jason Tatum. Silent Ben's back in the chat spamming those L's for LSU as well. And I got to... Uh, I got to go Iowa, man. I got to go Caitlin Clark. She is the female version of Steph Curry. She is popping off this season. I love her. I think she's extremely influential. I think she, you know, it was great that she turned down Notre Dame and went to Iowa, the college in her state. She didn't have to go after the big fancy, you know, national championship bred school. She's kind of creating her own, her own way. And same thing for the LSU girls. They really found a way to make as much money and make as much for themselves in college before heading out to professional and they're creating generational wealth and generational talent. So I'm here for both, man. It's a win and it's a win for women today, in my opinion, regardless of who wins. Chip, LSU or Iowa? Um, He's got Iowa. UConn or USC? You got Juju Watkins and Caitlin Clark. That's bro. crazy. People are Juju down Watkins on page buckets. Ass, that Juju is Watkins crazy. Is People are dropping page buckets right now. Juju I, she Watkins is. is not her. No. She is, but no. it's page buckets, dude. She's been that girl. Page has been her. That's she's been her. All right. Well, that leads to my next question. Who you guys got? UConn or USC? You got page buckets or you got Juju Watkins? Go on ahead and drop it down below. I got Shamari Savage saying UConn's on top. Maya's World's back in here as well. Uh, Laura's saying Iowa. Dan the Man's saying Iowa as well. I got uh, Shamari Savage going for UConn. Rashard Lee going for USC. All right. Corkwa's got Paige Buckets. Silent Ben, Paige Buckets. Uh, Dan the Man saying April Fool's. Tim S. got UConn, baby. Boston Bob's got UConn as well. All right. I mean, I do like that it's number one. I mean, listen, one. We, I think Boston, Boston people are very well. Got to be on the uh, UConn be, train, U, yeah. U, 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 UConn train. I do think that it's very cool, and it's a lot more uh, strategically placed that the Elite Eight for the women's is number one and number three on both games. Yeah. It is very much. Uh, but uh, am I selfish for saying I wish Iowa LSU was 
the later game tonight. Like, I wish yeah, we had oh to God, see yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people do, but I think maybe because it's USC, they've got the West Coast. Yeah. So they're yeah. probably a little bit later. Seed out there? Is USC the one seed out there, or is UConn? UConn is. UConn's the one seed. Oh. USC. But maybe their viewership, because, you know, L.A., Louisiana, and uh, Iowa more, like, central time. Yeah, I guess I don't. I don't know what the more the more watched game is. Gonna, the more watched game is going to be the first one, but yeah. I think even more people would watch it if it was a later game. I also think that it's very strategic in the sense that most people are probably going to watch at least until halftime of the UConn USC game mm -hmm. because they're transitioning from that first game too. West Coast people are also it's four o'clock West yeah. Coast start for right. Iowa LSU, so it's pretty early. It's going to be tough. But we got less than five minutes to go here. Boston Celtics versus the Charlotte Hornets coming at you here tonight. We, of course, do have no Jalen Browns. We've got Tatum, Derek White, Drew Holiday, Chris Stats, Porzingis, and Al Horford. On the other end, no LaMelo Ball is out for the season, but they do, they do have Grant Williams starting at the center position here tonight for the Charlotte Hornets. Who's the X Factor tonight for your Celtics? Last game. We, I said Derek White, he said Drew Holiday, and those two popped off. So I'm going to go Drew Holiday is my X Factor here tonight. I think Jason Tatum is my X Factor here tonight because in the last five games he's played against the Hornets, he's, at, he's averaged 43 points per game. Um, so this could be a big night for him to get back in his groove and really you know, get back on that horse before the end of the regular season into the post. I do agree with that. Tatum does seem to pop off when it comes to – Charlotte Get back Hornets on track games. a little bit. Use this game. Just bully this glorified AAU team, Hornets, <laughs> and just just cook them. You, you, there's nobody in this team that can guard you. If, Grant, yeah. if Brandon Miller locks you up, I'm going to be real concerned about <laughs> Jason Tatum. Do you think there will be a scuffle today? Between uh, William, it, it'll be something playful. No, they, they've played. They played before. They played when they when he was in Dallas already this season. Yeah, it was kind of tippy. Tatum didn't like the way that he was playing defense. Yeah, I forgot I was there. Um, that was that. It was funny. At the end of the, like, it, Tatum was definitely do, like doing it as a joke, and then Grant might, might have taken it the wrong way. No, I think it was vice versa. I think Grant was doing it as a joke, and Tatum was pissed because afterwards they like zoomed in on like what he was saying. And this man was just saying cuss huh. words behind his mouth there. All right, I got 130 people in here right now. 63 likes, which is incredible. Go ahead and like this video as well. I see a lot of people are saying uh. Big Al and JT, KP. Some are saying Smitty is the X Factor here tonight. I appreciate that. <laughs> Jason Tatum is my X Factor. So we got a lot of those. <laughs> Shard just saying Grant's so bad. <laughs> Grant is not very good outside of this Boston system, if I uh, do say so myself. It is, uh, it's not, not turning out well for him, I, I will admit. Ben Benjamin saying, I just like this video. Shout out to you, my man, Ben. Jay Money 25 said, I don't understand why JT is shooting more threes and driving in for layups. He makes them almost always. JT's got a lot of different roles here on this team this season. I think he's trying to not rely on the three so much, believe it or not. But I do feel like when JT has made like the first two out of four or two out of five, he is kind of feeling himself in that sense. I do agree. I love Tatum's size and the weight that he's put on the offseason to be able to drive like that. But uh, I think it just depends on who they're playing and who they got on their court right now. McGee's! You won the raffle on Saturday! You were the winner of the Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum signed picture. We almost redid it because you weren't here, but we're like, hey, man, I can't do that to my man McGee's. He's been making these raffle ticket entries all month long. McGee's. If you're not following me on Twitter, you better go do so right now because I need to get your information to be able to send you this Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown signed picture. Because shout out to you, man. That is my Twitter right there. He said, hey, yo, what's happening, Allie? My wife told me the good news. Let's go, McGee. We appreciate go, McGee's. You, you, coming, you coming through. We knew you'd come back, my man. I, I, I was worried. Like I was like, he's been in a lot of streams. Now, he wasn't like a two-stream, three-stream wonder. He's been in like, you know, 10, 15, 20 streams. So I was worried he wouldn't, we would, he wouldn't be here for these two and would lose out. All right. Well, we are tipping off now as Chris Asporzingis won the tip against Grant Williams. And we got some ball playing here. Drew Holiday is going to find Jalen Brown to start this off. Derek White kicks it down to Chris, Chris Asporzingis, who should bully Grant down low. Grant Williams picks up his first foul in the first 17, 17 seconds. seconds. All right. Sounds about good. 
Big G said, so great. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, my man. I got Marcus Miller in here. Good afternoon, Schmitty. Hello, Allie. Are you guys ready? If you are, then let's get some bang, bang, bang going. <laughs> TC, TCC Slicky saying, yo, what's up? I got Derek White more than 14 and a half points. Let's get it. Also got Drew Holiday over nine and a half assists and rebounds. I got that one as well. That, uh, that I'm writing on pretty hard, so I'll keep you, guys, I'll keep you updated on our prize pick here, Slicky. All right, KP making both of his free throws to start us off here two to nothing as we are officially underway. Here we go. Who do you got, Celtics or Hornets? This one should be easy. Give me a C in the chat. C's in the chat. All right. I got uh, Grant Williams dishing it down low. I'm going to be honest, I don't know a lot of Hornets players anymore. They traded a lot away. And then they got some injuries as a nice three-point shot is drained by Miles, Miles Bridges, Bridges to start this game off for the Hornets. All right. Shouldn't even be in the league. <laughs> the starting lineup for the uh, Hornets is going to be Williams, Miller, Bridges, Mann, and, ooh, what is that name? Vasily? Mikic? Oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not aware of him. We're going to call him Vasily. All right, Chris Tass Porzingis after another two points here. For the Charlotte Hornets from Miles Bridges. Drew Holiday for three. No good. We're going to have the rebound here. This team just forgot how to shoot. I, I feel like, uh, I don't know, man. Maybe their heart rate just isn't up. Maybe they're just not up for these games. I don't know. I have seen a lot of stuff just about how they're really not trying to exert as much of their energy in the regular season. But it's also play a little bit of basketball. My God. Grant Williams puts up to 7-2 to two here. 10-24. They could also just be tired, too. I mean, this is the really the end of the season. Drew Holiday one more time for three in the corner. Once again, no good. 0 for 2 to start from the corner for Drew Holiday. Jeez. Jeez is right. Make Bridges. Going to find uh, – we're going to find Brandon Miller here for a nice little three-pointer. What is this? And stuff? it is 10 to 2. And those two points came from free throws from Chris Stapp's Porzingis. I don't know what's going on. But no I field, don't like no field goals it. in the first two minutes for Boston. Tatum on the wing. Sizing up with Grant for three. Bang! GT for three! Let's go. All right. Tatum puts us back in. Five point deficit here. As we're going to have Trey Mann dishing it out. Grant Williams pump fake around the top of the three point line. But Miles Bridges is going to end up taking the three point shot. It's not going to go in. Nice little rebound here for the Celtics. Al Horford's going to dish it around, move, spreading out the offense here. Jason Tatum wants to do a step back three. He will. No good. Rebound by Drew Holiday, though. There's one. Kicks it out. Horford for three. Ah, that looked good. Derek White putting put the back. offensive rebound back up. A little put back to add two more points onto the board. 10 to 7 now. Let's get it. Trey Mann's going to take this ball up. As I got Miller, Miller from the elbow, no good. Rebound here for Drew Holiday, dishes it out to Jason Tatum. He's going to go back to Holiday. He'll drive into the paint. A nice little lay, finger roll lay, lay. to put two more points on the board to make this a one-point ball game. That is one thing is the Celtics do be coming back. They're on a 7-0 run right now after a missed shot there by Trey Mann, I believe, or is that, is that Miller? I that's believe that's – oh, Derek oh. White completely smoked a layup there. Thanks. Miller, Trey, Trey Mann, excuse me, finds Vasily. Back to Grant Williams. Pump fakes from the three-point line. Little Euro step in the paint. He'll draw the and one yeah, as the foul goes on Drew Holiday. Yeah. Not exactly what you want, but I'll take it. Ted Woods, I just can't take this emotional roller coaster. Really, man. Like, I really just don't want overtime with the freaking Hornets tonight. I just don't. Stop trying to make it harder on yourself. Just play better basketball. Throw a little sub up. All right, 25,000 subs we hit on Saturday, but now the journey to 30,000 starts right now. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me. We put out four to five videos a week talking about your Boston Celtics. We are live for every single Boston Celtics basketball game. All you guys got to do for free content is hit that sub button. Horford takes it three. No good. Trey Mann's going to get that rebound. Dishes it in transition for three. It's good by the Hornets. Holy crap. 
All right, that one's going to be Brandon Miller. Derek White's going to be fouled by Grant Williams. Nice little hip check there on the sideline. Shout out to the new subscriber we just got. That's lit. All right, 177 people in here, 87 likes. Go ahead and hit that like button for me if you can't, if you haven't already. Grant Williams goes to the bench as he's got two fouls already. God bless Grant Williams, man. All right, still have the starting five in for the Celtics. Got to find Derek White, bounce pass to Tatum. They immediately start double teaming Tatum here. They're not running a nice little 2-3 zone. Going to find Horford in the right corner. Bang! Al Horford for three. Let's get it. On the other end, still 12 to 16 here as Vasily, I got to hope that's his name, drives down low into the paint, puts up a nice little layup and adds two more points to that total score. Seven minutes left to go here in the first quarter, 18 to 12, down by six. Celtics are waking up a little bit, came out really slow. The shot wasn't falling. Derek White, good no-look pass, spreading it out around the three-point line. Ends with JT for three. Bang! JT for three! There you go. Three-point lead, three lead for the Hornets now with 6.35 left to go. Grant Williams came out a while ago as he's got two fouls, so Bolden came in for him. Trey Mann pulls up for three in Drew Holiday's face and drops it in Drew Holiday's face. All right. All right. Excuse me, that was Miles Bridges. I apologize. Bridges. They're both wearing headbands today. Bridges has eight. He's three for four from the field so far. God, three of them have headbands on. This is a nightmare. KP from the elbow. A little bit too hard. It's going to bounce off that back rim there. As Bridges is going to take it up. Giving it to Trey Mann. He'll drive. Puts up a fire lele, and it goes in. All right. I wonder how it's responded, man. 23 to 15. Drew Holiday in transition. Going to find Chris Stapps Porzingis. They're starting the offense here on the other end. Lobbing it up to KP. Nearly stolen, but he does see wide open Al Horford under the basket, which leaves a two-handed slam dunk for the big man down low. All right, Vasily's going to take this ball up here. We got man-on-man man, 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 on man defense. We got Brandon Miller going to the right here. He's got some space. Jason Tatum's coming from behind. Chris Porzingis is trying to block in the front. As a really big three-point shot from Trey Mann comes about 30 feet. No good. Rebound for Tatum. If you guys have rebounds on your prize picks, code CLNS, you might want to double-check that because he is cleaning the glass right now. Tatum. Finds KP wide open in the corner. Derek White for three. Bang! Bang! Derek White for three! three. Yeah, your voice cracked on that one. Wow. <laughs> it's okay. We can just blame it on me. Will you turn that a little bit towards me? Yeah. All right. Three-point lead here for the Charlotte Hornets. Not too bad for the Celtics. Let me get some nines in the chat. It's a big bucket from D. White. Three-point lead. This Hornets need a timeout. This is definitely one of those moments where I'm okay with this deficit because I don't think the Hornets are good enough to keep this up the entire game. So if they want to play catch up and just try to challenge themselves coming in for the post game for the postseason, I'm okay with that. Uh, I know Joe Mazzula has been telling media that they've been trying to create challenges for themselves in games. This would definitely be one of those games I could see them trying to create some chaos. So I don't think you should be worried if the Celtics get down a lot. I don't think this is going to be a, a Hawks kind of. Uh, rematch because I don't think the Hornets have as many resources as the Atlanta Hawks. So I'm okay with a three point deficit. Hell, I'm okay if it even gets up to 10 points. I want to see what the Celtics do here with adversity. So, hey, and we're going to get to that in real quick. So, all you guys got to do is go on ahead and go to prizepix.com slash CLNS. Use promo code CLNS for a first time deposit match up to $100 because PrizePix is the biggest daily fantasy sports app in North America. It's also just the most fun. If you guys are wondering how to play, here's the easy part. All you got to do is pick between two to six players and just pick more or less on a player's projected stats, and you can win up to 100 times your money on any entry, especially right now with as little as four correct picks. You can turn $10 into 1000 with basketball, hockey, college basketball entries on prize picks. 
today. I actually saw a promo that was going on when I went to go make my prize picks this morning, and I, I opted in immediately. If you win $5 today on any of your entries, you get a free entry tomorrow up to winning $25. So I actually won this last time they did it, and there's nothing I love more than a free entry. So I got Angel Reese to have more than 12 and a half rebounds tonight, Caitlin Clark to have more than nine and a half assists, and Drew Holiday to have more than nine and a half assists and rebounds. Holiday already has uh, two rebounds on that, so I'm on good trajectory right here in the first TV timeout of the game. So if you guys want to go make your prize picks right now, you can go make them for the UConn-USC game. You can go make them for later NBA games, MLB, golf. There are so numerous sporting events you guys can choose from. Just go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use that promo code CLNS for a first-time deposit match up to $100 and watch yourself win some real money in real time. All right, Hanton, I got you in for a raffle, my man. All right. It's currently 5-2 to two in the Iowa game. If you guys haven't hit that sub button, go on ahead and hit that sub button for me right now. Let's play some ball here, shall we? Less than five minutes to go in the first quarter. Peyton Pritchard is going to come in. Caitlin Clark just drove right past Haley Van Lith. For a layup. Things you love to see. Former teammates on Team USA. Mm -hmm. Hauser, Brissett, and Pritchard are in the game. As we've got a... Uh, Hornets say putting up an alley-oop there. How the heck do you say his last name? Who? Aleschi Pokusibis? Pokusibiski? Wait, wait, wait. For the Hornets? It's, oh, it's Poku? Poku? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I'm just I'm calling Poku. Poku. Porzingis gets called with a foul. Shot's not going to go in. F foul is going to be on Poku, <laughs> and he'll go to the line. Bro, that's his name. I, I, I honestly, I, I didn't even need to see the spelling to know your pronunciation. I had no I idea. Like, I, I know who that is. He used of... to be on the Thunder. He used to be on the Thunder. He was a promising young player. Um, hasn't really developed into anything major, but he's a rotation guy. Look at that assist from Caitlin Clark. KP with the first rebound made, 21 to 25. All right. Once again, I'm not freaking out about this deficit. I would be if it was DeJounte Murray and Bogdan Bogdanovich, but not as many resources Probably here. Smoking so. layups. Smoking, smoking wide open layups, layups for Iowa. KP ah, misses his free throw. That's one thing they need to work on before the postseason. It's their gosh darn free throws. Kim Mulkey in a very toned down outfit today. No jewels, no sparkles. Hope everything's okay. All business. God. With that article she that is the out. most dramatic person I've ever met in my entire life. I've never even met her. And I could tell she is so dramatic. And shot clock violation here for the Charlotte, uh, the Charlotte Hornets. All right. Jason Tatum, Peyton Pritchard, Chris Stas, Porzingis, O'Shea, Brissett, and Sam Hauser are on the court right now as they're going to call a T. Who the hell is on the technical on? Please tell me it's on the Hornets and not Jason Tatum. Oh, it's going to be the head coach uh, for the Hornets. Steve Clifford. Steve Clifford gets a technical. Jason Tatum's at the free throw line now. As he makes the free throw. All right, JT. You love to see that. 22 to 25. Steve Clifford. What a job that is. What is their record this year? Oh, it's 18 and 56. Ugh. I think that's nearly the reverse of ours. Uh, yeah, 58 and 16. Is that what we are? Yeah. KP for three. Going to be no good. He's also been a little bit off his touch these last couple of games, but they're going to find Brandon Miller in transition. He'll put up a nice little floater. He'll drain that one to make it 27 to 22. It is 17-9, Iowa over LSU right now. Tatum at the top of the key. He wants to do a step back. He'll go in between three-point lines. Not going to fall. As a Vasily here is going to get the rebound. I had no idea Marshall was still on the Iowa team. I thought she graduated. He'll put up a floater. He'll absolutely smoke it. Hauser and KP fighting for the rebound. And Celtics are going to come up with it. Pritchard seeing an empty lane. He'll drive, dribble back out around. Sam Hauser for three. Bang! Sam Hauser for three. three! Let's go and get 30s on 30s on 30s down to the shot. 
Uh, Slicky, the coach, pretty much just ran his mouth to the referee, and that's why he got a technical. They just weren't playing with it here. But they are, I believe, going to have an and one here after uh, Brandon Miller made a nice little bank shot. Tatum got the foul, and now they're going to have a Celtics full timeout. So it didn't, didn't look like there was a – I think it was on the floor. They didn't, they didn't count the basket yet on the scoreboard here. Oh, maybe because it's a challenge. I don't know if it's a challenge or not, but I just see Celtics full timeout. We'll have to wait and see. All right, well. All right. We are currently at 101 likes. Thank you guys so much. Let's go ahead and get to 200 here, shall we? As we've got 192 people in this stream right now. We got, this is all, we have seven more games after this, guys. This has been flying by. So why don't we go ahead and pull up that super chat menu here one more time, Schmitty, and let's see what we're partying with. My deal of the day is a $50 super chat. I'm going to wear the Celtics jersey for the rest of the game. I can't ever tell if you guys want me to wear it or not. So $50, I'll put on the Duncan jersey in support of my man Duncan, who's watching his UConn girlies here tonight. So that's my $50 Super Chat deal of the day, along with a beer bong and shotgun race. Smitty has agreed to give me a 10-second head start. So hopefully I will be yeah. able to win that as well. Ten, $20 is going to be a green team entry here. Boston Bob's already sent in a 20. Who's going to go ahead and send one as well? $10 does put you into the April long month raffle. Well, half of April. We're going to be drawing on April 14th against the Wizards. That is our last regular season live stream of the year. We will, however, have all the live streams for you guys during the playoffs. We got special things being cooked up for you guys in the playoffs right now. So $10 enters you in for a chance to win a signed picture from the entire team. Here's what the picture will look like. This is a little bit bigger than last year. It's, it's last month. It's 16 by 18. This has Lamar Stevens, Delano Banton, KP, Derek White, Drew Holiday, Joe Mazzula. It's got the whole real roster before the trades and whatnot. So I think this is a great addition, especially if this turns out to be the Celtics that win the NBA Finals. You're going to want to have that memorabilia hanging up on your wall. So I used to have a, my old house. We used to have a pool room, right? And my dad used to, like, get all this stuff on eBay of, like, Joe DiMaggio and, like, his signature and put it up on the wall. Or he would get, you know, people from the New York Jets or he would get somebody from – uh, the New York Giants or something like that to put in our trophy room, which was our pool room as well. So I think it's really cool to see stuff like that. I could see myself putting that in my house when I have kids and make a trophy room of my own. So it's a great little keepsake, and you guys can win it for $10. It just doesn't get much better than that. That's just me giving back to you guys for what you've been doing to us here. All right, who you guys got? Type C for Celtics, type H for Hornets. Caitlin Clark is uh, on one right now, man. I think that is so corny, the whole wearing a, the Bayou Baddie or whatever, Angel Reese's thing. Bayou Barbie? Mm hmm Bayou just, Barbie isn't even the best player on her team. So. I just think like the – no, she's not. I just think like that whole crown thing. It's not my it's not my cup of tea. I think she's a great player. But she's probably not – I just don't like the, you know, sometimes it's a little corny. Darth Fatass, you're in, my man, saying get me in on that. abso freaking lootly all right, be sure to be here on uh, April 14th. That's when we're going to draw that raffle. So they actually end up, they did count it. They did count it, and uh, Brandon Miller turned that into a three-point play. So 30 to 25 here. Jason Tatum is going to take this ball up. He's got it at the elbow. He drives into the paint, puts up some muscle, and he makes a left-handed layup for two more points making this a three-point ball game. Not bad for JT. All right, LSU's creeping back up here. 14 to 17. Miles Bridges kicks it out. Oh, we got Brandon Miller losing his handles. Tatum's going the other way, and he loses his handles, and now Brandon Miller's going back the other way. Sloppy, 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 and now we've got a couple of passes here around the three-point line. Brandon Miller is going to now drive in. Luke Cornett is in the game. A little up and over pass to Miles Bridges, who's in the corner. Backing it up on Peyton Pritchard. He'll pull up. Doesn't fall. Rebound for Luke Cornett. Let's go the other way, shall we? Oof. Big time three for LSU. Three-point ball game. Pritchard. Bounce pass to Sam Hauser. Bang! Sam Hauser!
said, ah, I got to put on the jersey for my... Go ahead and spam Darth. All right, spam Darth first. We're going to get two free green team entries rolling in here for my man, man, Darth. And then we're going to have two free green team entries for my man, Hanton, as well. You guys are the best. Let's get this freaking party started. You know what? Instead of a beer bong shotgun race, we are going to just do a shotgun race uh -oh. here at the end of the first quarter. You guys know I don't be shotgunning that much, so I got to make it up to you guys. So I'll do a shotgun race here at the end of the first quarter, and I'm excited for it. All right. Smitty, you don't have to take me off screen. Just uh, talk for a minute. Sure, yeah, no. 20 seconds left. Tatum top of the key. He's guarded by, I forget. Um, swings in the corner to Peyton Pritchard. Short corner jumper. No good, but they're going to call a travel or he was out of bounds. Don't you love that? You just don't know what the turnover was, but you know it was a turnover. Yeah. Who is this mask? Could have been both, to be honest. All right, the Celtics jersey is on. Thank you, thank you, thank you to you guys. My deal of the day was successful. You guys are the freaking best. Ten seconds left. It's going to be man. He's fouled out by midcourt by Pritchard. Celtics probably had a foul to give. Yep, they did. Is, uh... It's going to be Poku inbound. Derek White's going to check back into the ballgame. Probably to prevent some three-point defense. All right, I got Slicky on the green team here. Seven and a half seconds left. Inbound. Back to Poku. Poku drives. Floater. No good. Rebound. Derek White or Peyton Pritchard. He's full court shot. Not close. End of the first quarter. Celtics fall by two in the opening period. All right, so I, I, got, uh, I got Slicky, TCC Slicky. I need one more here for Darth to get this. Uh, will you get me a raspberry, please? I have one right here, yeah. Shout out to you. Uh, all right. We got 219 people in here. If you guys have never commented before, go ahead and spam Darth down below. We got to get three more free green team entries in here, courtesy of my main man, Darth and Hanton, as we're getting Liddy in here right now. And we've got a little shotgun race coming up for you guys. All right, I'll keep you guys updated here. God, Caitlin Clark already has 10 points and three assists. Who is she, dude? They literally are not even out of the first quarter yet. Angel Reese has four points, five rebounds. That's why you take 12 and a half for Angel Reese. She got Morrow's got six. Williams got six. Flage Johnson has zero. She went off last game. Haley Van Lift has two. God, Caitlin Clark is so good. She's so good. All right, who's in here? I'll hold. All right, keep spamming Darth down below. Spam Hanton as well. I got 200 people in here. Ah. Is this purple? This is purple. All right, Slicky, you're in. I got you, my man. Oh, nice. Yeah, some more, my man. All right. All right, who's that? Spicky? Spicy Cabbage. Oh, well, he's a Hornets fan. Keith, you're going on the board, my man. All right. Clark's at the free throw line here. This girl is unreal. Timeout. Well, excuse me, at the end of the first quarter here. Oh, Rocky, I'll put you on the board, my man. All right. This is going to be for Rocky and for Darth. You guys know I don't be shotgunning that much. So this is a special occasion here. Here we go, Chief All right. Man. I'm not going to win, but I'll try my hardest. Bang, bang. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Give me like give oh, yeah, me seven and a half. Three, two, one. Squad zone. How'd that happen? Oh, God. Why does anybody do that? It's horrible. It's horrible. Oh, God. Shout out to you guys, my man. <laughs> Slicky said, damn, man, just burp it out. <laughs> my bad. My bad. All right. Well, we're playing ball now. Which is unfortunate because we've made a mess. Oh, yeah. All right. Still down by two, which is really annoying to say. 
but we got Derek White for three. No good. Cornette coming back with the putback. Let's get it. As we have a tie ball game here. All right. Let's put, uh, I got Rocky Bradley going on here. Driving down low, Brennan Miller is going to kick it back out. Got Trey Mann at the top of the key to find Puku. Poku. Oh, Grant Williams pulling the second and one of the night for Grant. All right, Rocky are going on the board. Who else was a new person in here that I wanted to put on the board? Keith, you're going on the board. I'm going to the board. And then we're going to get one more in here. I got uh, Robert Hudson on the board. Derek White's going to drive, pulls up from the elbow, airballs it. I don't know what happened there. I think he tried to alley-oop. It just didn't work out. All right, here are our new additions. Thank you guys so much. Shout-out to Darth. Shout-out to Hanton for putting those people on the board. One point ball game here, Iowa 26, LSU 25. As Reese is up to eight. Poku as a at the top of the three-point line here. Hits Grant Williams down low. Shot doesn't fall. Luke Cornette with the rebound. Holiday now driving up. Holiday pulls up for three, doesn't make it. As uh, passing it around here, spreading out the offense, Derek White pulls up for three. No good. Cornette tried to get the rebound there, but Poku just a little grabbed it a little bit ahead of him. Grant Williams hits Poku. Going to take a three from the Hornets. Not going to fall. Rebound for Derek White. Derek White lobbing it up to Al Horford. Double team immediately on Horford. Still dribbling around. Finds Luke Cornette. Looking for an outlet pass with nine seconds to shoot. PP pump fakes in the corner. He'll now drive. Four to shoot. Pulls up and sinks it. All right, PP. I like it. LSU takes the lead, 27 to 26. Peyton Pritchard has played really, really well so far tonight. Crashing the offensive glass, gaining really his has. possessions, and doing his job when needed. Even that last rebound at the end of the first quarter, that he just he came in kind of last minute and just popped up under all those bigger people. Derek White under the basket, dribbles back out, hits Peyton Pritchard at the top of the three-point line. Now they're going to sprout the offense here. 13 seconds to shoot, 8.58 to play here in the second. Holiday drives down low, puts one up high off the glass. Luke Cornett tries to rebound, but he's going to end up knocking it out of bounds, and it's going to be Hornets ball going the other way. All right. Trey Mann's going to take this ball up here. Tie ball game, 34 all. Trey Mann going down to the right. Is we're going to have Brandon Miller here. They're going to call foul, offensive foul, actually. An offensive foul looks like it's going to be on Trey Mann. A little turnover here. So Celtics are going to take this ball up the other way. All right, taking the ball up is Drew Holiday. Finds Al Horford to Derek White to Peyton Pritchard. Sidestep three. Bang! P.P. for three! Let's go. Oh, they called it a two. Things you love to see. Oh, that's poop. All right, and uh, Trey Mann on the other end is going to put two more points up on the board. As they're going to call shooting foul against, as Peyton Pritchard was going up for a shot, they're going to call foul here against him. As he'll head to the line. All right. Not too shabby. All right, 25,047 subscribers as Smith Dog has changed it up here a little bit. Why not? 
Why Are not? you wearing a green shirt? It's it's um it's more of a tur turquoise. It's a real it's a real turquoise. I had to say, how did uh how's it working right now? Well, I'm not I'm not green screened right now. Oh yeah, that's fair. I can I can green screen screen myself. Let's see let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. Welcome to behind the scenes. All right, 236 people in here right now. Celtics play six of their final seven games at home. That's really nice. Really nice. All right, Luke Cornett's going to take a seat. Looks like I see Al Horford, Derek White, Peyton Pritchard. It's kind of buzzing, though, so I don't know. Xavier Tillman as well. As Vasily's going to take this ball up here. Andrew Holiday is in the game. Vasily driving all the way down. Peyton Pritchard with great defense forces a missed shot. Rebound from Grant Williams. And now Vasily is trying to back it up on Peyton Pritchard one more time. Forrest shoot. Xavier Tillman tried to come in there and swipe away a uh, steal. The shot will go in, though, for Vasily as he's given a nice little too small here against the Celtics. 38 to 37. I'm not worried about it, but they are scoring pretty heavily right now. Pritchard. Around the corner for three. Drew Holiday, no good. Damn, Damn is right. I don't know what's happening. As Miles Bridges puts up a shot, not going to go in. Good rebound there by uh, Drew Holiday and Al Horford combined. It, it did go in. It went in? Oh, I'm sorry. I, didn't, I thought it didn't go in. 40 to 37. Pritchard bounce back. Derek White wide open for three. Bang! Bang! Derek White for three. Celtics tied up. Come on, can we go on a run here and just like have a cat? Like I don't know, just could take control of the ball game. Well, two points here no, for the Hornets. They're the playing champ. terrible defense. Uh, TCC Slicky D White has eleven points. Drew Holiday has four rebounds. Peyton Pritchard swinging it around the three point line here. Going to dump it off to Tillman. We got Tilly. Kicks it out. Derek White, same, same spot. spot. Bang! Derek White for three. Let's go. Can I get nines in the chat? He's cooking. He's cooking. Let him eat. Let him eat. That was really corny. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. Vasily driving down low. Going to call a foul on Drew Holiday, which is BS. Celtics' first lead in a while. Or... I guess when they took the lead at 37-36. Bridges has 12. Miller has 11. Uh, Derek White has 11. Tatum has 9. The bench, though, producing some numbers here. 6 for Hauser, 2 for Pritchard, 5. Oh, excuse me, 2 for Cornette, 5 for Pritchard. So not doing too bad right now with 43 points. Got a nice little 13 off the bench. Definitely helps. All right, 231 people in this stream right now. She's not my favorite. Kim Mulkey? No. I don't think she's anybody's favorite. She's not my favorite. Unless you're from the deep south. <laughs> Have you seen that TikTok where it's like a, it's like a, she stole it like a, like a crawled ad at a, at a Mardi Gras festival. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Josh saying, Celtics are a great team, but I feel like when we make the playoffs, we'll blow it. We'll do the thing where we play bad. Angel Reese makes a wide open fast break layup and she's talking shit. <laughs> it's so funny. At least she's talking shit in the middle of the game. Normally I only see Angel Reese run her mouth after the team has already secured the win. And I'm like, you're going to chirp. You better chirp like the whole game. Like that whole like ring me and the whole like you can't see me. That only happened after LSU had a major comeback and like ended up winning the ball game. This game is packed. It is. 31 to 26. LSU is on top uh, at the beginning of the second quarter here. Caitlin Clark step back three. Ah, oh, no good. Reese with a rebound, though. Let's go for my prize picks. Code CLNS. All right. Flonze Johnson popped off. She had like 24. deposit match your prize picks. You did what? $100 deposit match your prize picks. You put 100 bucks in, you got 200 bucks. Van List, sidestep three, drains it. Uh-oh. This, this one might be a route. No, it's not. They're just on a 13-0 run. Do not doubt Caitlin Clark. Bang! Three points from Iowa. Let's go. Let's go. In Angel Reese's face. She actually sucks. She gets back, she gets back on defense quite slow. 
She's because she's a low effort player. And well, she's a millionaire. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Jarvis Hold Kane's up, from the elbow, no good. Rebound, Iowa. Yeah, I do more than just the Celtics. <laughs> Elite Eight women's basketball. Come on, Caitlin. Come on, Caitlin. Come on, Caitlin. Dishes it down low. Get oh, is that a foul? No. I don't know. She's all up in her bubble. Why, why does she? She gloats after every play. Yeah, every play. Every play. Like she just like she just had the game winner. Like it's God, crazy. How is that not a foul? She smashed into her. Nah, that was that was an awesome slot. God. All right, let's talk about Celtics here, shall we? All right. Hornets finally have gonna, the lead. What? I said we finally have the finally lead. Finally have the lead, which is annoying. Six minutes left here in the first half. We finally have the lead. Not, ah, not anymore, and it's and gone one. again. All right. Brandon Miller gets an and one. Jesus. It's like their fifth and one. Yeah. The refs are calling it soft. Who do you got, Celtics or Hornets? Should be Celtics or refs. That was not a foul. Well, what world was that a foul? If that wasn't a foul, I know that one wasn't. Brandon Miller's already got 13 tonight, making 14 after he makes it a three-point play. Now we're down by two. Things you don't love to see. That. You know, I would always love to hear Drew Carter and Brian Scalabrini call a game, but NBA League Pass always has, when the Celtics are on the road especially, Always has the Celtics away stream, and tonight we have the, the Celtics uh, home stream, which is great, but I would love to have that Hornets play-by-play -play announcer, man. That would have been fun that is fair. to hear, like, finally, three-pointer oh. made by who? Al Horford! For three! <laughs> that was great. <laughs> A missed three-pointer for the Hornets. <laughs> Gets it back. Brandon Miller pulls up. No good. Rebound, D. White. Ooh, Angel Reese is hurt. She's limping off the court. Mm. Oh, wow, Al Horford. Oh, I was ready to do a bang too. What happened here? We don't, we don't, we don't like injuries. We don't like injuries. I want, I want Angel Reese to lose on the floor. Yeah. And we get a steal here from the Boston Celtics. Tillman comes up with it, and Tatum's gonna take it back up. Ten point oh. six rebounds in the in the you know first quarter in two minutes. For Angel Reese, geez, I mean, she's a, she's a stat sheet stuffer. Tatum, floater, not going to go in. Uh, you got Caitlin Clark missing free throws. What that's are we why doing I took here? more than 12 and a half rebounds for her. She's got six rebounds, three assists. Uh, Clark has four assists right now, 12 points. She's got the game high. She's now the free throw. Four-point ball game. And then we've got uh, 11 points for Derek White here. He's leading the Celtics. I got 14 for Miller, 12 for Bridges, as uh, Drew Holiday has four assists as well. Tingus Ping is getting up there in the assists as well. Mm. 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 236 people are watching. We got a timeout here for Celtics versus Hornets. So let me go ahead and tell you guys about our friends over at prizefix.com slash CLNS, the number one daily fantasy sports app to help you guys just have so much fun and an easy experience when you guys are playing prize picks. All you have to do is pick between two to six players and just pick more or less on a player's projected stats, and you can win up to 100 times your money. Prize picks is the best way to get action on sports in more than 30 states across the country, including California, Texas, and Georgia. And you can play alongside some of prize picks favorite players like Meek Mill, Sugar Sean O'Malley, and of course, yours truly, Allie Barefoot. I got the NCAA Women's Tournament and the Boston Celtics in one entry. I put about $10 in for a chance to win 55 here. So nothing too crazy. I've definitely done a lot more. I've won over 15 entries. I've won over $400, but I only had $10 in credit. So I was like, I'll just put that down. But I got Angel Reese to have more than 12 and a half rebounds. She's at six. I got Caitlin Clark to have more than nine and a half assists. She's at four. I got Drew Holiday to have more than nine and a half rebounds and assists. And he's at four. You can go ahead and make your prize picks right now for the second quarter and fourth quarter. Excuse me, second half and fourth quarter of tonight's ball game. Just go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use that promo code CLNS for a first-time deposit match up to $100. And pick more, pick less. It is that easy. Whew. Let me pull up this prize picks line for you guys here. Jason Tatum, more or less than 27 and a half. 
This is his pregame line. I believe he has about eight or nine points right now. Let me check out. He hasn't been in the game much in the, in the second quarter. He did play most of the first. He has nine points. Three for seven shooting, two for five from three. Does have that free throw as well. And plus, if you guys just want an easy access, prizepix.com slash CLNS. That link is in the chat, courtesy of Schmidt Dog. So it looks like there was a, some kind of review here going on during this timeout. Uh, oh, okay. So Joe Mazzula had a successful coach's challenge. It was supposed to be out on the Celtics, and now it is Celtics basketball. Um, so that was overturned. They retained their timeout. Once again, Joe Mazzula, I, in my opinion, using his <laughs> challenge way too early in the game. But this one worked, so I'll take that one. Not that bad. All right. Whew. I got a lot of you guys saying more. Tatum's going to have more than 27 and a half points. As of right now, he's at nine, so I, I could see that happening. As Tatum is going to pass it to Chris Dasporzingis at the nail. He's got Grant Williams on it. It looks like Freak the Mighty, the difference in height right now. KP with a floater, drains it, takes the lead again, 48 to 45. Let's get it. All right. So, oh, Charlotte's going to take the ball up now. Brandon Miller going to go to his left here. Uh, bounce pass to Bridges. Bridges, Tatum's on him. Kicks it back around. Got a three-point shot here from the horn. It's no good. Rebound directly in a mile. Bridges' hands. He's going to go up off the glass. No good. KP's going to snag this one. And Tatum finds Derek White all the way down the court in transition. But D. White kicks it back out to Tatum for three. Bang! JT! Oh. Three! <laughs> They're a little off. They're a little, a little off. off on that. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. We got more. We got more. Tatum's got, got a six-point lead. That's what matters. <laughs> Tatum's got 12 as Vasily puts up two more points here on a layup. Never mind. 51 to 47. 345 left to play in this second quarter. All right, Derek White's going to take this ball up here. Ooh, she drained it. Derek White moving the ball around here. A lot more ball movement in this, in this game than I saw in the Pelicans' first half. Tatum pulls up. Oh, it took a bad yeah, spin, that man. Was that was toilet bowl. That so. was toilet bowl. 51 to 47. Miller finds Vasily. Going down to his right. Got Pritchard on him. Good defense by Pritchard. Forces it Grant. back out to Williams for three. No good. Bum. Tatum with a board. Come on now. Oh. It's going to be an offensive foul called on Porzingis. Knocking over Grant. Grant might have flopped. Yeah. And I'm, when I say might, he definitely, he definitely did. flopped. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, he went ass first. Clark's got 15 points. Things I should have taken, the more on Caitlin Clark points. All right, we got like a referee trying to figure something out here. All right, now we're going to play some ball. All right, Charlotte's ball taking it up, 51 to 47. As uh, Bridges will drive, puts one up off the glass. A nice little layup here for Bridges. Dug his shoulder down deep in there, and they had no answer for him. All right, two-point ball game. I can't believe we're in a wire-to-wire -wire game with this Hornets right now. I can. I don't. I definitely think they're not playing 100 percent right now, but I'm right with like the deficit that's been going on. A lot of in and out shots too, like that yeah. inside shot from Derek White. They've been on on par. As they kick it out, Vasily's going to do a sidestep three. No good. Rebound here for the, by the Hornets. KP got lucky, didn't call for get called for an and one right there. Tie ball game. Tie ball game. It's safe to say a lot of these teams that the Celtics are playing down the stretch, for some reason, because they're bad, are playing way up against Boston. They should be tanking to get better draft lottery position. Why are they why are they trying so hard against the best team in the league? Everybody wants to get their lick, I guess. <laughs> Tatum, spin move. Doesn't nice go in, but a nice in. little tip in by KP. I saw no foul. Oh, that was. Is she back in? Yeah. She literally cried for no reason. Literally. All right, the free throw is good. I definitely said, did I, I did not say it like widowly, did I? 
what are we? No. 53 to 53, but the ball is going to be out here on the Celtics. It's a bad move there. Bad pass. Had Drew Holiday going down low for it. It's going to roll out of bounds. Ah! I mean, what is going on? Come on, Celtics. It's time to stop effing around. The Celtics are going to go down on the left. Dumps it off. Off the glass. Smoked, smoked the layup here. He, he, you know why he smoked it? Because he didn't go glass. Started a little, like, three-foot oh, yeah. floater. What are you doing? Tatum going to go to his right. A nice-headed two-hand slam dunk for JT. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Miles Bridges takes it up, and he's going to turn the ball over. Celtics basketball after he throws it out of bounds. Come on. Can we get a right. two-possession lead? Let's, let's take it. advantage of this now. My God. Enough of this ticky tack no stuff. Reason. Like they did the same thing with the um, freaking Pelicans. All right, Jimmy less D than White. a minute left to go. D White's gonna be at the logo here. He's yeah. got Trey Man on him. About ten seconds to shoot. Tatum's gonna come up to help set a screen. He's gonna go to his right. Derek White lobs Drew it up to Tatum. Under. Bounce oh. pass to Drew Holiday. Back to KP, and he puts it in. God, one more extra pass there, but. Yeah, yes, it was say, worth Drew, it. Holiday could have went up very easily, but hey, lo love the ball movement. Gotta do what you gotta do. Everybody eats. 30 seconds left on the play clock, 13 on the shot clock. Tingus has nine points and four rebounds. Step back for Vasily. No, Way off. No shot. Oh, you gotta give it to Holiday there. As Derek White is gonna take this ball up. Shot clock is off, 17 seconds on the play clock here. As Tatum's at the logo, 10 seconds to go. Please don't. Please just work on some kind of end of game thing. He drives the, into the lane. The, the rack. Loses he the ball, he but he gets fouled. Believe it was uh, on the floor. Yeah. yeah, yeah I don't think he was in the shooting motion just yet, but actually it's going to be called a shooting foul really? on Brandon Miller. Tatum's going to go to the line. I'll take those extra points. No complaints. Hey, no complaints. Robin. 4.9 seconds left to go. 57 to 53. Make it 58. We don't relate. No. Rex in the... What? Rex in the bank. Hmm. Yeah, that song is fire. Pritchard comes in because he is uh, very good at half-court free throws. Half-court shots. No, no complaints. This is one of the only songs with Drake and Metro. Tatum makes a second free throw. 59 to 53. Five seconds left to go. Trey Mann dribbling fast pace up the floor. Called They're going to call a foul. So they set a foul to give. So smart there. 2.6 left on the clock. That one's going to be on Derek White. All right. 59 to 53. Going to inbound here. Going to hit Miles Bridges. Blocked by Tatum. The three-pointer is blocked. And oh. Sam Hauser nearly makes it from the other end. What an ending for the Celtics there. Wow. My God. Hey, we'll take a six-point lead at half. In a uh, game the Celtics clearly are not playing up for. No. So. They, this is not. If you think this is the Celtics at their peak, think again. This is not it at all. The Celtics are, are barely playing right now, and they're still beating the Hornets. Yep. They really are. All right, 25,052 subscribers. Go on ahead and hit that sub button for if you guys haven't already as oh, we are on the journey to 30,000. We're trying to get to 30,000 by the NBA, not NBA draft time. I mean, that's, that my, a, that's my selfish prediction. July? July, a free agency. Free agency sounds good to me. First couple days of free agency, we hit 30K. That would be, that'd be the best, man. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I know we're going to, I know this is going to keep going up during the postseason. We're going to have watch parties. Every single game, obviously the rest of the regular season, because we just want to get in that mode of doing games nearly every single day for you guys. And so we're going to go into the postseason and do the same thing. Watch parties every game. We're going to get lit. Do not worry. We're going to be your one-stop shop for Celtics postseason coverage. You're not going to want to miss a thing. Who knew Angel Reese was 6'3"? She's one of the taller women on the court. So. Yeah, she is. All right, you guys know what time it is. It is time for half off halftime. How tall did you think she is? Six foot. No. Caitlin Clark's six foot. Yeah, I was going to say, Angel Reese is much taller. Uh, Caitlin Clark is complaining about the basketball. Kim Mulkey's about to lose her 59, shit. 59 53, Boston against the glorified AAU team Hornets. Half off halftime coming at you live here on Celtics Today. 
Any super chat you guys know is a shout out. $2 Celtics beers, cheers. $10 raffle entry. Unfortunately, we cannot make that half off halftime because you know, it, just, it just screws with the whole, the whole system. Uh, $10 green team entry, though. Send in a $10 super chat. You or somebody new will be put on the green team. And then $20 beer bong, beer bong shotgun race. We did one earlier. And, uh, I mean, I won again, obviously. Leave me alone. But I'm just saying, $20 beer bong shotgun race is one of the best deals that we offer here on Celtics Day. Most value. You get us, get us pretty screwed up for, uh, for, the, <laughs> for the low for the low. low. Um, so, uh, Nick G's, do you have Instagram? Because I put my Instagram in the, the – chat if you don't have twitter and i saw that it's like logged you out or whatever i got a um thank you i will put my instagram on there if you've got instagram tie ball game iowa and lsu all right so ten dollars does put you in for a raffle ticket entry but it's also a green team entry which is the hottest deal that you can get at celtics today by chat sports so as you can see our green team is almost full i highly suggest getting on the board now so $10 does put you into a new month-long raffle, which is going to be through the month of April, through April 14th. It is kind of a half month for us as that is the last day for the NBA regular season. We've got a lot of stuff planned for you guys in the postseason, so um, I want to make sure that we get a good raffle going here for you guys. As of right now, I got Darth and I got Hanton Valdez in the raffle to win the signed Celtics team picture. Here's a picture of it right now. Is um it is signed by all the oh, players. God. It's on my face. <laughs> it's on, on Smitty's face. We'll just leave it. It's on Smitty's face. This is what you could be winning. About 16 by 18 picture we'll signed by all the Celtics uh, before the NBA trades and stuff. So if this is the team that ends up winning Banner 18, that's a really cool artifact to have. So uh, just simple ten dollars. This is not a cheap piece of a uh, uh, signed picture either. The February raffle we had 73 people. The April raffle we had. Um, 66 people, I believe. So we are definitely getting up there. And I, I want to make this very fun. I love, I love seeing all your little leprechauns race at the end of every month. So just $10 puts you in the raffle. Shout out to you, Robert Bruce, by the way, in the chat. I always recommend doing it at half off halftime just because you and do Richard. also get a green team entry as well. Yeah. So, you know, more bang for your buck. Half off halftime. You already know. Come on. I'm, will, I'm willing to do... Fireball as well, uh, a shotgun and a fireball shot, swig, whatever you want to call it, for 20 bucks. Let's ride. For 20 bucks, You're so cheap. <gasps> red Panda? I love Red Panda. I love Red Panda. I think she's so good. Caitlin Clark. Do something. Do something. She drives. Bucket. <laughs> Little dipsy do. Buckets for Caitlin Clark. 50, 41, 41 all here. LSU and Iowa. All right. I know I missed shot here. Did they call foul on Angel Reese? What was that? I think so. Yeah. Angel Reese fouled out last game. All right, who's going to be the first one to send in a nice little super chat to get this party rolling? I got 211 people in here with me right now. McGee's Bottoms up, Valley and Smitty. Woo -woo. Go Celtics. Ah, we got to do another beer bong shotgun race. Pull my leg. Mick G's, did you happen to tell me if you have an Instagram or not? If not, I can give you an email and I can get your shipping address that way too. But shout out to Mick G's. We're putting a uh, green team entry on the board courtesy of Mick G's. You let me know if you've got Insta and I'll get your information from you, Mick G's. I got you, my man. Smitty's going to do some stuff here real quick, but we're going rip, rip to uh, we're gonna rip that beer bong in just a second. TCC Slicky saying, Allie getting lit tonight. Super Chats aren't pulling right now, uh, but they're sending in, which is good. All right, so we see your uh, Super Chat, McGee's. It might just take a minute to pull it up on screen just because our Super Chats are having a problem being pulled here on YouTube. Um, all right. So we'll get that rolling for us here.
Good play. Good play. Half time for uh, LSU and Iowa as well. Woo, shout out to McGee's, my man. Let's get this thing popping. All right, I'll get a little, I'll get a little uh, happy dad going here. Same with Smitty. I still got 207 people in this stream here with us right now as we're partying. You guys can come join us now for the Iowa LSU halftime as well. We got Celtics and Hornets right now. Celtics are up 59 to 53. Uh, be sure to hit that sub button too if you guys haven't already, as well as the like button. Still not pulling. Did you change it? You changed it to like 10 seconds though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good to know. All right. McGee's, do you have an Instagram? That way I can get your uh, information to send you this signed picture. All right. If we get another 20, I will turn that beer bong shotgun race into a full-blown shotgun race again. And I will try my hardest this time. So if we get another 20 on top of McGee's 20, let's, we'll change it to a shotgun race on a shotgun race. Not a, right now it's a beer bong race versus a shotgun race. But it could be much more. <laughs> All right, keep spamming McGee's. Let's get a free green team entry here rolling for my man McGee's. Ooh, 201 people in this stream with me, 134 likes. Go on ahead and hit that like button for me if you guys haven't already. All right, it's not pulling right now, but that is okay. We we see your super chat, we appreciate it, and we'll be able to pull it here hopefully in soon once uh, our YouTube decides to start working. What's up, many hoop hooper? Happy to have you in here, man. Overall, this is clearly the Celtics, like, 75% that they're playing at right now. So I am fully okay with the score that's happening. I think I've started to notice that, especially from, like, the Atlanta Hawks game and the Pelicans games, that the Celtics really aren't playing their tip-top shape. It'll be interesting to see what happens on Wednesday when they play the Thunder, which is a team that I really feel like they're not going to play lightly. At least I would hope not because they've already lost the Thunder, and those are re that's a real, like, playoff game that they could have in the finals. So... I would be intrigued to see what the Celtics and how they'll play on Wednesday. Hopefully, Jalen Brown will be back before then. But I do think uh, this is not a game to really worry about. Even if the Hornets do come back, once again, I don't think the Celtics are really playing up to their full par right now, which I don't blame them. I know they're probably trying to save a lot of their energy for the postseason. They have seven games to play after this one. Six of seven will be played at home, which is good to know. But they've been on the road for a while, guys. They've been in Atlanta since last weekend, and now they're in Charlotte. So they've been moving a lot. Jalen Brown's going to go to the doctor when he comes back to check out his left wrist, left hand. So they've got a lot of things to do as well. A uh, little recap here for you. I've got Tatum's got 16. That's a game high. Bridges and Miller have 14 for the Hornets. Tatum has four rebounds, two assists. Holiday has four rebounds, one assist. Derek White has six rebounds and two assists as well. So a lot of players are, are getting a lot of uh, action on the court right now. So it could definitely be a, a lot worse, believe me, especially when the Celtics are only playing at like half speed right now. Robert Bruce. I'm going to jam on some Zeppelin. Seeing a, seeing a bit late alligators. <laughs> I'm going to start saying that instead of goodbye. I'm going to go jam on some Zeppelin. See you late, alligators. <laughs> Aruski's back in the chat. What's up, man? Dude, my, my head got sunburned this weekend, and it hurts really bad. It's really hot. Ugh. I went to that new putt-putt place, that new Tiger Woods putt-putt place with my brother, and it was fun. Expensive, but it was fun. All right, Schmidt, you ready to do a shotgun? All right. You get me the happy dads, please. Yeah. William Callahan saying what's going on. What's going on, my man? What is going on? 
got a nice little lead here over the Hornets. Could obviously be a lot better, but they're not playing as great as they should be, so here we are. March flew by. I cannot believe it's already April. All right. 216 people in here. Let's get a beer bong rolling here, shall we? Little ASMR. Cheers. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Splash zone. That was so cold. That was so cold. Oh, God, that was so cold. Ugh. Why? Why? <sighs> All right. Shout out to McGee's. Let's see if McGee's followed me on Instagram. I'm trying to get his information. Yeah, he did. Are you uh, Amy McGee? All right, we're about to play ball here, and I'm excited. I'm excited. What other games are going on right now? I got uh, Grizzlies and Pistons. Pistons are destroying the Grizzlies, 57 to 44. Pacers are destroying the Nets 75 to 47. Magic are beating the Blazers 55 to 48. And the Bulls are beating the Hawks in the first two minutes 8 to 0. And the Suns are beating the Pelicans by two, 12 to 10. Dude, the Suns flopped this year. Trash. Really? Oh, McGee said, yeah, that's my better half. Perfect, McGee's. I will DM you or Amy or whoever. After this game, and I'll get your shipping information to send you that Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown signed picture. Ah. All right. So the Hornets have 34 points in the paint, primarily coming from uh, Bridges. The Celtics only have 18 points in the paint here tonight so far. All right, should we should play some ball here, people. 196 people in this stream right now. Let's get it rolling. All right. Vasily's going to take this ball up. 59 to 53, starting this off hot. Is I've got uh, Miles Bridges getting it back here. Moving the ball around. Grant Williams pump fakes around the three, gets KP. So he drives to the board, put KP on his ass, and he scored two. 59 to 55. <laughs> G said, perfect. Stop asking me questions and I can drink. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Derek White's taking this ball up here. I got the starting five back on the court. Derek White's going to lob it all the way down low. Now Horford puts two off the glass. 61 to 55. Those chips sound good. Smell good. <laughs> they sound good. Grant Williams for three. Bang. All right. Gee, Willie. Gee, Willie. All right. Down by three. Derek White taking the ball up here. He's going to have a screen set by Al Horford. Drives down low. Kicks it out to Jason Tatum. Five to shoot, and he's at the top of the three-point line. KP catch and shoot three. Bang! KP! The dagger 64 to 58. On the other end, we've got Grant Williams. 
finding Brandon Miller. KP's up to 12 points here. Brandon Miller almost had a turnover here, but they're actually going to call foul on, I believe, Jason Tatum. No, it's on Derek White. Excuse me, personal foul on Derek White. Oh, whatever. Whatever. All right, Miller's in the inbound here. Trey Mann's going to take it up. Going to go to his left here, dribbling in and out. Gets stopped by Tatum, so he dribbles back out. Good D there by Tatum. Williams now driving down low. He'll put up a layup. It'll fall. Williams is not having a half-bad game here. Derek White's going to go the other way. Derek White finding Drew Holiday. Sidestep three. Really short there. Uh, just kind of slide it off the front rim. Brandon Miller finds Miles Bridges. He'll drive. Gets blocked, it looked like, from Jason Tatum. Derek White on the other end is going to make a contested layup, and he's going to get the and one as Vasily gets charged with a foul. Did that Super Chat ever, fall, ever pull? No? That's so weird. <gasps> McGee's, here's your super chat from earlier, my man. Bottoms up, Valley and Smitty. Woo woo, go Celtics. Well, we did the we did the beer bong and shotgun race for you, my man. The, the super chat's finally pulled, so we got to show you love where it's where it's due. All right, so Vasily is limping now. I feel bad because I feel like I'm gonna learn his name, his real name after this. It's probably not gonna be Vasily. Misa. Uh, what's his first name? Derek White makes it a three-point play. Michic. It does sound right. I'm going to call him Vasily. All right, Vasily takes the ball up here, finds Brennan Miller, who's got Derek White on him. Up by seven here, and almost a turnover after Derek White nearly got cookies. The Hornets regain possession, and Brennan Miller is going to put it up from the elbow. Two points on the board. Derek White now dribbling around, finds Chris Snaps Porzingis. He'll dribble down low, kicks it out to Drew Holiday. Good catch there by Holiday. Al Horford now bullies his way into the paint. No good. KP is going to knock it out of bounds, and we're going the other way. I'm going to the board. I can't stop thinking about that. All right. Kind of a hurry-up offense here for the Hornets. Grant Williams at the top of the three-point line is going to give it to Trey Mann. He'll drive into the paint. They've got over 30 points in the paint tonight. They're going to call a travel on Trey Mann, which is beautiful because that was one too many steps there. Oh. And we're going the other way. Michich is in. Derek White lobs it up to Chris Stapps for Zingas. A lot of cuts here made by the Celtics, which I love to see. Back out to Al Horford for three. Bang! See what happens when you move the ball around and you spread out the offense. You leave Al Horford wide open, my man. Horford's got 13. Bridges pulls up for three. In and out it goes. Tatum with the rebound. I believe that's his sixth rebound here tonight. As he'll drive down low. Going to have an offensive foul by Jason Tatum. Good good uh, block there by Grant Williams. Five rebounds for Tatum. Drew Holiday has four rebounds, two assists, which is good for our prize picks, Slicky. And all the uh, Boston Celtics starting five are in double digits except Drew Holiday, who has two points. Tatum's got 16. Horford's got 13. Porzingis has 12. And Derek White has 14. Cutting down low, Grant Williams puts up a nice little finger roll and doesn't go in. <laughs> Derek White's going to go the other way. He's at an open lane, nearly turns it over, but he finds Tatum down low in the corner. He's got his back turned to the man. Good little spin move. Reverse layup is clean, and it's good. Timeout for the Hornets after a 10-point lead from the Boston Celtics as Tatum is up to 18 points here on the night. This is the kind of play I wanted to see from the Celtics. I mean, just a comfortable game against a bad team. I guess this is kind of how 
the game against New Orleans went. Yeah, they started, especially in the started, first started, half. Started a little bit of a run in there in the third quarter, and they really took off toward the uh, toward the fourth. Um, so I, I, I'm I'm fine with this. Maybe not giving 100 percent in the first half of games versus the Hornets isn't the worst thing to do. Yeah. On your in your last seven games of the season, what are we? You said we're 58 and 16 right now. Yeah, the, this is their. They, so there's seven, there's more, seven games more after, after this. this. Yes. Yeah. So. I'm not entirely mad with the way that they've played tonight. Um, there's definitely a little bit more intensity tonight than there was uh, yeah. in the first game of the Atlanta Hawks game. It, a after, lot more. After they went on the massive run to start. Yeah, that Atlanta Hawks game, that was just more like a punch in the face where I think they tried to kind of half-ass it like this game. I would say they're moving at 75% right now. Yeah, and, and 75% is enough to beat the Hornets by 15. Yes, and it did look like they were moving at more 35% that first game against the Hawks until they realized, like, you know, oh, damn, we really don't want to lose by this much. And in the second game, I still don't think that was their best ball. But also, DeJounte Murray having 44 points doesn't help. But Yeah, well, we didn't guard him. That's why he had 44. The offense probably was probably 80% that game. The defense more like 20. So uh, yeah, I'm okay with how the Celtics are playing tonight. This is not one of those games either where I'm like, Jalen Brown needs to be playing. No. Because the next game, they got the Thunder, they got the Knicks, they got the Bucks. Those are the last three opponents that I'd probably be like, I would like to see them playing their 100 because it, it will be like a playoff level game. But I also will see if, like, you know, any injuries or if they sit Chris Stapps or whatever happens. Mm -hmm. All right. What? Oh, yeah, I definitely more about subscribers that there. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. On the road to Banner 18, we're going to be doing every single game of the rest of Celtics regular season and every game of the postseason here at Celtics today. If you just subscribe, you're a loser. Um, or just unsubscribe, excuse me. Oh, <laughs> you are a, yeah, you're, you're a big fat L. But watch parties every single game for the postseason, daily news and rumors. We're going to be previewing every game of the postseason uh, in, in videos as well when the playoffs approach. <laughs> What what I do wrong? Thirty plus foot three pointer from Caitlin Clark. Oh, really? <laughs> She's got twenty two right now. Well, subscribe if Caitlin Clark is really really good, which she is. <laughs> so you should do that. Um, yeah, we're gonna have daily videos every single day uh, of the postseason, and you know, right now we're trying to get out as much content as possible for yep. the end of the regular season. Watch parties every single time. You're not going to want to miss it. Join the green team and uh, hang out with us here at Celtics today. We'd love having you. Everything Smitty said and more. Derek White gets charged with a shooting foul. Bridges is going to go to the line here after the timeout in the third quarter. All right. Bridges is going to make his first free throw here, which means he's got 15 points on the night. Nine-point lead for the Celtics. All right. Second free throw is coming up here for Miles Bridges. He will sink it. Two for two for Bridges. Celtics up eight now. Seven and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Derek White's going to come up. Horford high ball screen. White is going to use it. Gets the switch. Swings it over to Porzingis, who gets it to Horford, who's got a mismatch. That's a great play by the Celtics. And he gets it up and in for two, a post hook from Al Horford. That was a great set run by Boston. Yeah, it was. Vasily now going to take it, going to his left. He'll find Grant Williams, moving the ball around the Charlotte Hornets. A lot of good defense, though, for the Celtics. As I got a step back three from Trey Mann, no good, too hard off that back rim. Tatum's going to come up with that rebound. And let's see if they're going to try to run something here again. Tatum, Tatum be running his life. ISO here. He's going to go down into the lane. Two-handed slam! He, he, Dunk! He, he's just able to do it. That was beautiful. He really faked ferocity. him out. I thought he was about to take Trey Mann ISO for like next five seconds until he does a step back three. He's going to have a sick dunk in the playoffs. It's going to make, me, make us go berserk. Yeah. Tatum's got 20 and 6. Miles Bridges now, the top of the three-point line. Al Horford's on him. Nice ball handling skills from Bridges. Gives it to Trey Mann, who drives all the That's way down. Travel. Stops, though. Gives it out to Brandon Miller. Pulls up for a mid-range jumper at the shot clock. Doesn't fall. Rebound for the Celtics. Derek White oh, finds KP pass. down low. Oh, Doesn't finish, but does get the foul. We'll take that.
beautiful dunk by Tatum. Take it all day long, man. Tell me why you... Celtic Raider, what's going on, my man? Happy How you to have doing? you. Haven't seen you in a couple streams. I know. KP makes his first free throw. As Dennis from Boston is also saying, love this show. Yeah, I didn't realize you were on. If you didn't realize we were on, uh, you can find out every single time that we're live. If you guys turn on your notifications, hit the bell icon on the channel next to the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, you should say subscribe. Uh, hit the bell icon. Turn your notifications on to all <laughs> because you will be notified every time we post a video, every time we go live. It's, it's definitely the, the next tier up uh, in the green team if you're a part of Nodi Gang. 14-4 run of the Celtics since the, the timeout, the last two, three minutes here in this ball game. As Grant Williams is going to get stopped down low, looking for an outlet pass. He's going to find it, and Brandon Miller takes a three, and he drains it. 78-67, to 70, 67. excuse me. Brandon Miller has had a pretty good start to his Not NBA bad. career. I, I, I've, I've thought his rookie year has gone pretty solid. There's a lot of room to grow. Big wing, ability to score. Him and Paul George is linked up. A two of a lot of people compared him to coming into the NBA last year. Tatum pulls up for three. Bang! GT for three! Jason Tatum, like I said, he was the X Factor tonight. Vasily tries to put up a shot on the other end. Doesn't go in, but he does get fouled. Tatum's up to 23 here. Uh, actually, no, he might have more than that. Excuse me, hold on. Tatum's got 20, no, 23. 23 for Tatum. 23, we, 7, and 3. Prospects has had his uh, more or less at 27 and a half. What did you guys have on that? Type, type M for more, L for less. Is he going to get four more points? He's got to get five more points? Can Tatum, can Tatum get five more points in the last 17 minutes of ball here? Celtics up 14. Absolutely. He's silly with the free throw. He's going to sink it. All right, 81 to 68, five minutes left to go here in the third quarter. 30-year-old rookie from Serbia drafted in, oh my gosh, that's who this guy is. All right, Vasily makes a second free throw. Dwayne Lamb saying JT going for 30. Tatum to his left, around the three-point line. Dumps it off to Al Horford. Back out to Chris Hans Porzingis for three. No good. A little bit too short there. As Brandon Miller is going to come up with the rebound and takes it the other way. Got a nice little 3 2 going on here for the Celtics. As Vasily is going to drive in. Dribbles back out. He's got KP on him. Seven to shoot. He'll do a step back. Three. Brick. Way off. Drew Holiday taking it back up now for the Celtics. Drives. In off the glass, doesn't go in. Looks like Chris has Porzingis is going to try to put the put back up, and he'll be fouled in that process. Drew Holiday, five for two. What? Uh, Allison, a shout out here to people in Brazil, my dear Allison. Shout out to you and all of your family and everybody in Brazil that is watching right now. We love you guys for tuning in to Celtics today by Chat Sports. Thank you so much, Allison. You definitely have been a uh, one of the real ones here in the last couple of streams, and we appreciate it, my girl. All right, 81 to 69. Very nice. As Bridges goes up and under, off the glass for two more. A 10 point lead here. Bridges has 18. He's 7 for 15 from the field. Tatum's got the game high right now with 23. Hauser mid-range, up and good. There you go. I like Hauser working his way inside the three-point line here. The Celtics broadcast team just referenced the uh, the play-by-play -play calls of the of the Hornets announcer. Did we? He's they, with the uh, hum de -de -de. Oh. Miles Bridges got Peyton Pritchard on him. A little bit of a mismatch here, so Miles is going to go down. He's got four seconds to shoot. Dribbles it down low to Paku. Oh, oh, a three, three at the buzzer for Vasily. Pop off, King. Vasily. Making a nine-point lead here. Misa. Three to 15. Three, excuse me, 315 left. The pressure, he's wide open. 
Drew Holiday dribbling down low, finds Pritchard, now back to Tatum at the top of the three-point line. He pulls up. A little bit too short there. Holiday, Holiday racing, racing for the, the rebound, rebound, though. But Tatum was not ready for it. Yep, and that's bad. And Bridges is going to make a slam dunk on the other end. That's bad tough, effort man. after the shot. Yep, yeah, Celtics should call a timeout there. That's tough, that's tough, that's tough. And that'll be a timeout. Oh. Yeah. Now what you want. Nope. 83 to 76. And that is going to keep your starters in for a while. 58 to 51, Iowa and the LSU game, which is a great time to tell you guys about our sponsor here on Celtics today. Yeah. Of course, that sponsor is going to be Prize Picks. <laughs> We're going to be prize picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. I'm playing it. Spinny's playing it. Here's why you guys should too if you're not already. I used to never put money down on games because I didn't ever understand it. But prize picks is so aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing and easy to play that it's almost begging me to go on ahead and make my prize picks right now. When you get there, just pick between two to six players and pick more or less on their projected stats, and you can win up to 100 times your money on any entry. Testing my skills on prize picks this basketball season has been the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. And if you have the skills, you can turn $10 into 1000 with just a few taps. Plus, it's really simple to play. I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds. So, of course, I had to give some love to my NCAA women's tournament right now. I got Angel Reese having more than 12.5 rebounds, and I have Caitlin Clark having more than 9.5 assists. Reese has 9 rebounds in the third quarter, and Clark currently has 6 assists in the third quarter. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. I also have Drew Holiday, can't forget about my NBA players, to have more than nine and a half rebounds and assists. He's got five boards and two assists right now, so I'm doing pretty well. I'm feeling pretty good. Go ahead and test your skills at prizefix.com slash CLNS. Use that promo code CLNS for a first-time deposit match up to $100. Quick gameplay, easy withdrawals, an enormous selection of players and stat types. That's what makes PrizePix number one daily fantasy sports app. Go to prizefix.com slash CLNS. Use promo code CLNS for a first-time deposit match up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It is that easy. Oh, God, that Happy Dad is still, still messing with me. Happy Dads are so tasty. What is the shot clock in college? Uh, 30 for men's, but I don't know what it is for women. Is it called? I'm pretty sure it's 30 as well. It feels like so much longer. All right. If you guys haven't hit that sub button, go on ahead and do so right now. We put out four to five videos a week, and we're live for every single Boston Celtics game. This is probably the best coverage you're going to find of the Boston Celtics on YouTube. Not going to lie. 100%. And the even better is that it's free. 100% free to subscribe. No payment whatsoever. Payton Pritchard's oh, on the free. wing. Gets it into Porzingis and the post. He drives in. Little turnaround jump. Ah! <laughs> Chris asked Porzingis with a little turnaround jumper. He was due, my man. Plus the foul. He can was some, due. Can I get some KPs in the chat? Let's get him going. Did a little double pump there. Can I get some KPs in the chat? Let's get him going in a shot. Converts the three-point play. Celtics back up 10. As we have 2.30 left to play here in this third quarter. All right. Hornets going to take the ball up now. Tingus has 17. He's 6 for 7 from the free throw line tonight. Shout out Willie Callahan, Shamar Savage, Maya's World for all typing those KPs. Bridges really missed the three-point shot there. Tatum's going to rebound. I've got Tatum, uh, O'Shea, Brissett, KP, Sam Hauser, and Peyton Pritchard on the floor right now. As we're up by 10. Tatum's going to size up Poku. Goes oh. up, he gets blocked though. As Miles Bridges is going to get that rebound, we're going to go the other way Tatum here. Tatum ran into two defenders there. Poku is going to take a three point shot, drains it. Come on. All right, 86 to 79. I mean, I don't, you know, I'm not worried, but stop giving up easy shots here. Clark's on fire. Another three? Another three. Wow. She made a three right before that, but it was a foul on LSU, so it didn't count. Mm. Chris Stapps going up against a Hornets defender here in the paint. Puts it up again in the end one. Back 
to back. KP going up strong. Things you love to see. That. All right. Now we got to give it a. And one. one. Shout out Boston Bob. I already know what's up with those and ones in the chat. People still spamming their KPs as well. She's walking back. Shout out to the King of place. Randomness getting involved. EA2, Willie Callahan, Boston Bob, Shamari Savage, Bean Town. All right, Celtics are in the bonus now with 130 left to play here in the third quarter. Porzingis converted the three point play. As we're going to drive for Poku, who's going to go up, not going to fall. PP with the rebound, taking it the other way. Richard's going to step back around the three point line. I'll start this offense one more time. 17 to shoot, 109 to play. Pritchard going up, lobs it up for O'Shea Brissett, not fully going to go in. I believe that foul is going to be on uh, against Peyton Pritchard. No, it's going to be on O'Shea Brissett. I couldn't tell if Pritchard came in, tried to put the put back in. So yeah. O'Shea Brissett's going to be fouled here on that play. Nice little shooting foul here on Burton's. As Davis, Brizzy. Davis Burton's? Goes to the line. 105 left to play. Oh, Brizzy make, misses his first free throw. Not great. Who's the foul on? Davis. Bertons. Was, was, it D, was it D Bertons? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there he is. Yeah, the number nine. This is his, some of his first action tonight. Uh, I, I wanted the Celtics to get him a couple of seasons ago near the trade deadline as O'Shea Brissett knocks down the second free throw, 92-79. Uh, yeah, Davis Bertons is kind of a little bit of a fall from grace for him since his Wizards days. He was more, much more of a contributor out in Washington. Driving down low is Trey Mann. Kicks it out. Got Poku. Poku again. No good. No good. Re big time rebound from Jason Tatum. Falling out of bounds. Keeps it in play after a pass to O'Brizzy. 45 seconds to play. 18 to shoot. Tatum's got man on him. He pulls up Deep way three. downtown. Barely misses, but Sam Hauser good comes in with a tip in. with the putback. Good job for Sam Hauser, man. 92 to 79. And the Celtics got a two for one there. 11 seconds between shot clock, game clock. Trey Mann nearly putting Pritchard on skates here. Misses his three-point shot. About a one-second difference from play to shot clock. 20 on the play, 19 on the shot. As the Cs are in the bonus, Celtics are out-rebounding the Hornets 39-28 to here tonight as well. Tatum's got it at the logo with seven to shoot. He'll drive. Kick it all the way out to Sam Hauser, Sam Hauser. for three. Bang! Sam Hauser! For three! Can we get some 30s up, 30s up, 30s up, 30s up, 30s in the chat? Celtics take a big 16-point lead here at the end of the third quarter. That's the end of the third quarter. Tatum's got a double-double, 23-10, and he's got four assists. Jamari uh, Savage spamming 30s. Boston Bob, Nick, Myers World, Willie Callahan, Boston Bob, Zacchaeus, Bob. Zacchaeus, Tim S. Shouts out to all y'all in the chat. We got over 240 people here rocking with us for this Celtics Hornets live stream. We're entering the fourth quarter. So turn those 30s on 30s on 30s into foes on foes on foes. 30s. Fourth quarter time. Spam those fours. Corqua in the chat. What's up, Corqua? How we doing? King of Randomness as well. Shouts out to you. Shamari Savage saying like and subscribe. You should always like and subscribe when you enter a Celtics Today live stream. It's like taking your shoes off before entering someone else's home. Come on the train and ride it. TCC Slicky says, come on, one more point for Derek White. Three more rebounds and assists for Holiday, please. Looks like she's got a prize picks. Use code CLNS at prize picks to get a first deposit match up to $100. Hell yeah. I'm still watching the uh, Drew Holiday one, too. Don't worry. McGee's got those fours in the chat. Willie Callahan, Boston Bob, Shamari Savage. The real's the real. Nine-point lead for Iowa here. Four minutes left in the third quarter. LSU turns it over. Going to be Clark on the fast break against Angel Reese. She's going to pull up for three. She sends in a, a nice pass in the lane. Layup is good. Iowa taking an 11-point lead over the Tigers. Clark, baby. What a dime. Dime dropping delight. 
Angel Reese bullying her way up, misses the shot, gets her own rebound, misses the second shot, fouled, and they get though. fouled. A little bit of a makeup call there. They probably should have called it on the first attempt by Reese, but. 12 rebounds for Reese. Hey, you need one more. Need one more. Uh, Clark has seven assists. I need three more assists from, from uh, CC here. 14 points. She's got double double. How many does Clark have assists? Seven. Seven. She's got 31 points. <laughs> 31 points. Jeez. <laughs> Holy crap. So 31 points, seven assists. She's at minimum generated. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, that wasn't blocked. That would have been eight, the eighth assist. Good block by Flash. So she's a. generated Johnson, 31 man. points and then seven assists. So that's at least 45 of her team's 63 points she's generated. Starting off strong minimum. here in the fourth quarter. A three pointer made by the Boston Celtics. No, she is unreal. That was going to be Sam Hauser with the three. Oh, get those 30s on 30s on 30s back in the chat. Popping off, my man. Put on space. Rebound. 19 point lead for Boston here. This is kind of how I wanted the game to go. Don't exert yeah. all your energy and then just really turn it on there. End of the third quarter, coast for the fourth quarter. Yeah. Hauser tries to make a three there. It didn't go in, but they've had 24 points from the bench here tonight. So. Oh my God! Willie D! Coming in with a $20 super chat as the Hornets miss and Peyton Pritchard takes it back up after a rebound. Go on ahead and spam Willie. Let's get a new name here on the green team. Let's add it. Tonight we've added Robert, Keith, Rocky, and Slicky, and Cleveland to the board. So let's keep going here, shall we? It's going to be a Celtic turnover after Sam Hauser tried to find Peyton Pritchard, but threw it a little bit behind him and uh, went out of bounds. All right. Going to take this ball up here as, as a facility with the Hornets. Going to find Grant Williams. He was in early foul trouble here to start this game. Vasily, sidestep three. No good. Rebound, Grant Williams. I was running Bridges away with for this. three is good. 65 to 52, man. It's crazy down here. All right, Derek White's going to take the ball. I got Brissett, Pritchard, Sam Hauser, and Luke Cornett on the court. Derek White pulls up for three. Oh, I'm sorry, Slicky. I wanted that one for you, my man. I wow. really did. We needed that for you, Slick. Because here's what. She's not talking any more cash as uh, the layup is missed for the Hornets. She's not talking any more cash now, but if they were to come back, Angel Reese would be the loudest talker on that court. Yep. She last made field goal is 621 left in the second quarter. There's 245 left in the third quarter. If her team comes back, Reese will talk. All right. Uh, missed three-point shot for Pritchard. Going up is Brandon Miller. Doesn't get a shot. Puts the tip wow. back up. Doesn't get that shot. And rebound here for the Celtics. Pritchard drives in the lane. Goes baseline. Kicks it to Hauser in the corner for three. Bang! Sam Hauser for three! Can I get 30s on 30s on 30s on 30s on 30s in the shot? If there are 256 people in the stream, if you have never, ever, ever commented before, go on ahead and put 30 down below. I'm going to give you a free green team entry courtesy of Willie D. Willie D, why are you saying sorry to me? Hornets make it two on the other end. 101 to 84. I would love it, Drew Hall, to get back in, but, you know, that's my prize picks. Luke Cornett dumps it down. Two points here for Luke. 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 All right, Vasily now taking it up. That is not what it's supposed to end with. Miles Bridges gets the and one. Makes it 103 to 86, has a chance to make this a three point play. 30s on 30s on 30s on 30s. Is Willie smiling in on me? I'm sure he is. Dwayne, I'm gonna. I think Dwayne might actually be on. Oh yeah, Willie D. Duke. Duke was a rough loss. I saw somebody else said uh, sorry about Duke. Early was Zacchaeus earlier in the chat. Miles Bridges converted the three-point play. At least you were there, though. I was there. I was at the game yesterday, and I was at the game on Friday because both were here in Dallas, Texas. So I got to see my Dukies play yesterday. I sat about ten rows up from the floor. That was awesome. Right, right across from the Duke bench. It was uh, 
First time I've seen them since 2017, so, or 2016, actually, 2016-17 season. Gbody, you're on the green team, my man. Time out here. Celtics and Hawks. Celtics and Hornets. God, that Celtics and Hawks game took me over. 260 people are in here right now. Uh, do we do? All right, let's go ahead and knock that out. Look at timeout. Yeah, Celtics full timeout. All right, one more time. Let me tell you guys about Prize Picks, number one daily fantasy sports app. College basketball is heating up. This is the biggest time right now for men and women's. So, of course, I had to make my prize pick center around my girls, Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. So, if you guys want to go make your prize picks right now for the UConn-USC game, which is coming up, you can absolutely do that as well. Just go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use that promo code CLNS for a first-time deposit match up to $100. Because March may be over, but the biggest moments in college basketball tip off the month of April. Be a part of the action on prize picks, both men and women's college basketball. And as of right now... You can win up to 100 times your money on prize picks with as little as four correct picks. You can turn $10 into 1,000. Here are my picks that I have for tonight's game. I got Angel Reese having more than 12 and a half rebounds, Caitlin Clark having more than nine and a half assists, and Drew Holiday to have more than nine and a half rebounds and assists. Prize picks does not care if you combine your own sports entries. I've got college women's and NBA as well. So go on ahead and make your prize picks right now by going to prizepicks.com slash CLNS using that promo code CLNS for a first-time deposit match up to $100, and you're going to be able to watch yourself win some real money in real time. All right, 65 to 58. This Angel Reese is going to be charged with an offensive foul here. Oh, Flage Johnson, excuse me. Yeah, you can't. Was it a block or a foul? She talks a lot, too. Oh, it was a block. Okay, cool. All right, we got about 8.30 left to go here in this Celtics ball game. Nice. Near, nearly a steal for Caitlin Clark. There you go. There you go. Look, she won't get back on defense. She'll walk. Yeah. Look at that. Is that an assist? That's an assist. God dang it. Look what you No! Look what you made me do. <laughs> now I just need Drew Holiday to get back in the game. Horford has a big hand dunk going down here. Tingus got 26 and 4. I got Derek White, Luke Cornett, Sam Hauser, Peyton Pritchard, and Al Horford in the game right now. As we're taking the ball up here for the Hornets. No. I need Holiday. Big time three from the Hornets, though. 103 to 90. Grant Williams with that three. He's got 19 and seven rebounds. Not a bad game for Grant, to be honest. Way wide open the corner, Sam Hauser. Bang! Sam uh, Hauser for three! You guys know what it is. If you know what it is, throw them in the chat. 30s on 30s on 30s on 30s. The silly is going to find, uh, what, is, what is his name? Davis. For, for, for three, 106 to 93. All right. Davis. Bertans. Up by 13 here. Peyton Pritchard in the corner now, in the left corner. He's going to drive, gets stopped. So he's trying to look for an outlet pass. He does find it in Lau Horford. Seven seconds to shoot as they're going to call a block here on Grant Williams. Derek White and uh, and I think that was Grant Williams, but I want to double check that. No, it was Davis, Bertans. They both went down pretty hard. Derek White accidentally put his shoulder, and he kind of got his chin on Derek White's head. Tell you what, since Derek White shaved his head, he's been hit a lot more in the head. I don't know if that's just like magnetic, like shinier. Like, I don't know, maybe it's like attracts light or something, but that is tough. He has been knocked in the head quite a few times this season. All right. Al Horford finds Sam Hauser. He pulls up for three. 
Bang! Sam! Hauser's lighting up, baby! What's he up to? Hauser's got 25. Takes the game high away from Tatum as they respond. Three-point play here from Davis Bertans. Angel Reese, that'll be her 13th rebound. Oh, excuse me, she has 17 rebounds. <laughs> oh, that one, that prize pick is good. I just need Drew Holiday to get back in the game. He's in. Al Horford for three, no good. Rebound here from Miles Bridges. PP, try to pull a little sneaky Jose Al Altuve. Alvarado, thank you. That was a MLB. As a Sam Hauser, sidestep three, no good. Al Horford gets the rebound. Drew Holiday for three. No good. <laughs> Horford gets another rebound. Finds Peyton Pritchard for three. No good. Kicks it out. Another offensive rebound. Derek White decides not to take a three. And he's in a step back here. He drives down low. Pulls up. Little mid-range jumper. That'll go in. 111-96. All right. Celtics fans in the Charlotte Hornets arena. Is uh, going wild right it's now. It's very often a, a Celtics uh, pro, pro Celtics crowd whenever Boston comes to Charlotte. I, that, that's been apparent for a couple of years now, actually. All right, 273 people watching in here, 161 likes. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me. We're gonna try to at least get to 25,000, 85 subs here tonight. So we put out four to five videos a week. This is probably one of the best free content you're gonna find on YouTube about the Boston Celtics. We give you guys live play-by-play because -play, I know not a lot of us have NBA TV. A lot of us do have blackouts when it comes to national games. So go ahead and hit that sub button for me. We did reach 25,000 on Saturday. So we've gained over 65 new subs in, uh, since Saturday, which is just, I'm just blessed beyond belief, man. I know TCC Slicky, we're trying to get, uh, we're trying to get you holiday in here, man. A holiday's got, uh, Five and two still. I just need I just need like two more rebounds and an assist, and we're good. I just don't know how long he's gonna be in for. Well, he's only played twenty six minutes. Derek White's up to thirty one. Tatum's up to thirty, so he could play a little bit more. Maybe close out the game here because Caitlin Clark's got uh, eight assists, so I need two more assists from her. And uh, Reese has sixteen rebounds. Sixteen points, sixteen rebounds. Not bad. Wow. All right. All right, if you guys want to shout out, if you guys are in this chat right now, go ahead and spam me, and let's get this party rolling here, shall we? Let me know who's watching us right now as we have about five more minutes left in this ball game. Go on ahead and type me down below. Shamari Savage, Los Vegas Spiders as well. J Money 25, Tim S with a nice little shamrock going on here. Got G Body Juice as well. Eric W. Willie D. Not bad at all. All right, 111 and 96 here. As Double O is watching from Coventry, United Kingdom. Happy to have you in here, man. I'm glad you found us. Robert Thomas as well, spamming me. TCC Slicky St. Holiday Shoot. And get his home rebound, please. Yeah, we need him to spice it up here. McGee is saying keep that energy rolling. Pamela Pan. I feel like I can help with that whole Pan Pam dilemma. Boston Bob spamming me. William Callahan. Massachusetts Springfield rocking it from Massachusetts here tonight. Mario spamming me. Titus Kitchen as well. Got a, got a good handful of people in here right now. Willie D spamming Wolfpack as well. F footballers spamming me. E2. All right, let's play ball here, shall we? The silly's going to take it up. He's going to back down into the right corner. As it's going to be a foul on Chris Porzingis, a shooting foul as a. Uh, going to be on Hauser. There's a player down before that. I didn't even see that happen. Grant Williams was down. I think he has a hair on his elbow. I'm not sure what's happening there. Jeannie's in here watching from Puerto Rico. Robert Thomas is actually watching from Charlotte, North Carolina. All right, side out here coming from the Hornets. Going to pass it in here to Vasily. 
Hits Grant Williams at the top of the three-point line. Step back. Pump fakes. Kicks it back out to Brandon Miller. He pulls up from way downtown. Derek White with the rebound. Not who I needed to get a rebound, but what are you going to do? All right. Derek White, Jason Tatum, Chris Porzingis, Sam Hauser, and Drew Holiday are in the, uh, in the game. Lobs it up to KP. He'll drive down low in the paint. That's a travel if I've ever seen one. He calls a foul on Grant Williams. God, that was a travel. 3.2 seconds left on the shot clock here. They're going to call a foul on Grant Williams. If I was the Hornets coach, I would call a challenge on this. That is a horrible travel. The Boston Celtics announces they're calling for a jump ball. I don't know what it was, but it wasn't a foul. Eight-point ball game here, 69-61, to 61, Iowa over LSU. Six-point game. All right, it's going to be a side out here for Tatum. He'll inbound the ball here. Drew Holiday now has it passes to Derek White, who finds Jason Tatum. He pulls up. The ball is stripped by Miles Bridges. They keep it in play, and they're going the other way now. Hornets. Going to find Grant Williams. He pops it back out to Vasily. Definitely spreading out the offense here, making that defense work a little bit harder as Miles Bridges drives down low. He kicks it back out to Grant Williams, who pump fakes. This is the longest shot clock ever, and he ends up making the mid-range jumper. All right, 111 to 98. Grant Williams up to 21 points now. Tatum, Derek White in the corner for three. Drains it! Derek White for three! It's a big time shot here with less than four minutes to go. Uh, I got Tatum's got 23 points, 10 rebounds, and four assists for Judge Onan as Grant Williams puts up a three and he airballs it. Serves you right, Grant. 114 and 98 in the Celtics versus Hornets game. 70 to 63 in the Iowa versus LSU. Chris Stapps Porzingis finds nobody. Gives it to Derek White, who now runs around the rim here, puts up a nice little floater. It's not gonna fall. Rebound here by the Hornets. Brandon Miller kicks it back out. Vasily for three. No good. Rebound, Drew Holiday. Oh, no, he didn't. He didn't get it. God dang it. Secure the rebound. Two hands, man. Two hands. Sam Hauser finding his way around the three-point line here. Derek White drives, kicks it out to Jason Tatum. Catch and shoot. Three. No good. Rebound, Miles Bridges going down the other way. The shot goes up. Kicks it back out. Tatum's going to get a steal here with three minutes left to go. Got to find Drew Holiday. Back to Sam Hauser. Now they're going to find Tatum at the top of the key here. Trying to run a little bit of ISO here. Holiday pulls up for three. No good. Tries to go for his own rebound one more time. Doesn't get it. 75 to 65. Iowa over LSU. All right. Inbound now for Drew Holiday. Gives it to Derek White. Catch and shoot three. No good. God, I needed that assist. I don't think I'm going to get it this game. All right, Brandon Miller now. It's Miles Bridges who puts up for a shot. It's going to go in here by Grant Williams. All right. 119 to 99. It could, could, be, could end up being close. 119 to 100. 114 to 100. Yeah, I, I saw it, uh, I said like 87 to 108. Ooh, Tatum throws it out of bounds. It's going to be knocked away by the Hornets here. All right, Grant Williams now at the top of the three-point line. Going to hit Davis here. Comes up for three. No good. Derek White with an easy rebound. That would have been nice. 25,069 subs. Very nice. 
Very nice. Derek White's going to take this ball up. 151 left to play. 15 on the shot clock. Just kind of dribbling it around here at the logo. Tatum drives, pulls up. It's going to fall. Two more points for Tatum here. 116 to a hondo. LaMelo ball is out for the rest of the season. As Miles Bridges pulls up for three. No good. Chris Porzingis with the rebound. Tatum taking his time going up. And Brandon Miller is going to do a quick foul. Good win here for the Boston Celtics too, man. Timeout. Peyton Pritchard, Sfima Hailuk, O'Shea Brissett, Xavier Tillman, and Luke Cornett are going to enter the game, as well as uh, Mar Marquez Bolden, Bryce McGowan, JT Thor, Nick Smith Jr., and Poku. Marquez Bolden, Duke legend. Isn't anybody that comes out of Duke a legend? To me. <laughs> He's very beautiful to me. He is very beautiful to me. God, they're wiping him right now. 77 to 67, less than seven minutes left to go here in this Iowa LSU game. All right, Pritchard now around the three point line. Gonna drive into the paint. He's really improved his ball handling skills this season. He pulls up for three, it's blocked as they go the other way. All right, we are going to be live on Monday, on Wednesday as well, against the Thunder as a big-time three comes from the Hornets, making it 116-103. to 103. 50 seconds left to play. As O'Shea Brissett is going to drive here to his right. Peyton Pritchard, you know what's crazy? What Delano Banton is doing right now. Man's dropping like double-doubles and 30 pieces and stuff. Another block here by the Hornets. He's going to give the Hornets possession back. 35 seconds left to go. As they're going to take their time, let the ball roll up the half court. Maximize time here. About nine second difference on play clock and shot clock. Dribbling down low. Pump fake. Shot won't fall. They're going to call a foul on Peyton Pritchard as uh, they're going to go to the line here for the Hornets. All right, 27 seconds left as we're at the free throw line. Misses it, 118 to 103 still. All right, got the, got one more free throw here. Oh, I actually made the second free throw. They didn't show it. All right, they're going to dribble it out here. There's about a three-second difference on play clock and shot clock, but I think both teams are going to wrap it up. Looks like it's going to be 118 to 104 to end this ball game out unless something else happens. So, All right. Going to be here for Wednesday's stream. Go on ahead and type me down below. I got 341 people in here. I got Boston Bob's going to be here, King of Randomness, Silent Ben, the King of Randomness, uh, spamming me down low. That is your final 118 to 104. Boom! Another three point shot made by Caitlin Clark. She's got 37. Nine for 18 from a three point line. Robert Thomas, Footballers, List, Shamari Savage, E2, TCC, Slicky, Maya's World. I got Dwayne as well. It's going to be a good one, folks. We got the Thunder coming up which I am super excited to see. So we got a good ball game coming up here for you guys. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in here. We will be live on Wednesday against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Hopefully, Jalen Brown will be back for that game. But keep an eye out for the video we're going to post tomorrow. It's going to be about Jalen Brown's injury and his left hand. He will be reevaluated by a doctor when he does return back to Boston, which I do assume is going to be tonight or tomorrow morning. So if you guys want that update, all you guys have to do is hit that sub button for me. If you want a little bit more, just go ahead and hit that noti bell as well to be updated on any Boston Celtics injuries. Be notified when we're going to be live, when our show is stream is starting. So all you guys have to do to be completely in the know with the Boston Celtics is go ahead and hit that sub button for me. Thank you guys again. The final here is 118 to 104. 
Go on ahead, hit that sub button for me.